Let's go, let's go, let's go. Arita Kings week eight. Week eight and we great. So we're watching Hikaru and Jospin play as Arena Kings, guys. I hope you're excited because it's that time. It is that time. And it looks like Hikaru is opening opening up a can here over here on this king side. But it look look at the evaluation bar going crazy right now for black. I mean, this is crazy. Like, this is really insane. I'm not even gonna lie. Hikaru's getting crushed. You know, that's what it says on on from the uh, evaluation standpoint, Hikaru is getting crushed right now. All right. So let's see what happens. Pawn takes. Uh, I do not like this knight on F2. The rule is, I always tell my students this, is when they cross the line, what's the line? Anything 1 to 4 is all white. Anything 5 to 8 is all black's territory. So anything that crosses needs to go ASAP. And this knight right here on F2 is doing what he do right now because he is sitting here chilling, relaxing on F2. No worries. The way to get him out is knight C1 and knight D3 or sacrificing material, which isn't that fun. Bishop takes H4 as a move here, but he is done on time right now. He is done on time. So we'll see. What's up, chat? What's going on, guys? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. This is Arena Kings Week 8. We're watching the big boys play and stream as well. Hikaru is streaming right now. So you can actually go check his stream out and see his thoughts right here as he's going through this bad position he's not liking too much. He is not liking this position that much. Especially with this pawn and knight in here. Now it's a little bit better. A little bit better. You need peace activity. And activity means where are your pieces at? What are they doing, right? So his pieces are a little bit more active. Maybe we could use this diagonal, but it is blocked right now by the bishop. And there's no way to like move this ourselves. He would have to manually do this. So that's going to be tough to make. Wow. He sacrificed a rook here to go queen takes h4 and queen h1 and mate and we great. So he takes on g2 or b7 to make sure there's no queening possibilities. Queen takes h4 is going to be nasty followed by queen h1 or queen h one's mate. So after queen h4, you have to step out of the way. Play rook d7 to defend. Hikaru was trying every trick in the book here to try to make this happen. We in here. What's up, Chess Win? What's up, Kanti Chan? Quian, what is up? We great. You already know. You already know. You won your game already, Nyang? That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Good luck to you in today's Arena Kings. It is going to be fun, guys. So we got like uh, two hours here. So Rick to D7 here. Hikaru is now down on time. He sacrifices in exchange and goes Queen C4 because I need a check and flex real hard. I need a check. Bishop takes B4, hitting the Rook and Queen to D5. And we live, hitting the Rook here on B7. Trying to trade Queens as well is our last hope here as he is up on time. Look at that. Yep, he gets the Queen trade. And now we're good. But this Rook's hanging, though. Is it Black's move? Oh, man. Hikaru is that Bro, look at this. He is so nasty, bro. If Bishop takes Rook, he had this Knight check. And then I was going to get my material back just like that. That was very, very nice, bro. That man is pushing tight. Way to get out of stuff here, right? Now he's down a piece here. You can't, you can't stop all the threats. But at the same time, this man is a monster, right? So he is down. He's down. His only asset here is the time. His only asset is the time. Let's see if he's able to convert this. Punk Tams, he's perfect. What's up, Detta? Thanks, bro. I won my first game today. That's what's up, Maya. Great job. Great job there. Excellent. Congratulations. Big congrats. Great job. Look at the chat. Giving you some love there, Maya. Check. King G4. Check. King takes H4. Oh, my goodness. He blundered his life away. He blundered his whole life. Wow. And now he's losing. King King here. And then block with the knight. Wow, that didn't work. It was check. Flex real hard. Check. Is it a draw? It is not a draw. He steps out of the way. It's five seconds on the clock. This is crazy. He can push the pawn. He could have pushed. He could have pushed. Oh, he hung his rook. He hung his rook. Take the rook. Is it going to be a draw? It's a pre-move show here. Who's going to be the fastest pre-mover? And it's a draw. He drew the game. He was like, whoo. Oh, my goodness. I can breathe. Don't do that again. Don't try this at home. Wow. That was crazy. He got a draw, bro. He got a draw. And Feingo lost this one, actually. That was a tough game for Feingo. A very strong Fide Master, actually. I actually, I remember him. I beat him, like, really quickly in a Blitz game. I was hyped about that. I did beat him. But yeah, Feingo just lost to him here. It's a tough game. This is some tough stuff. There's a mate, and we great there. Ooh. Oh, Eric Hansen won that one. He won that. Let's update the standings. <laughs> See what we looking like. Shout out to anybody under a Thou Wow. Anybody under a thousand, okay, 622 here. First place, 622. And what do we do? That man pushing tight. He pushing tight today. All right, let's go back to the other games. This is an arena, so games are just going to start immediately, usually a few, a few seconds after. 
you play your, your next game. You don't have to wait for all the games to be finished here. So let's check out some more titled players here. Some big boys play. This looks like a win for white, but it says equal, right? So it says equal here. Evaluation bar is very tricky many, many times. And I say tricky because white's definitely looking good here. Definitely looking good, but maybe there is, yeah, repetition. I was just about to say that. Maybe there's a repetition of moves, and there was a repetition, and that game ends. And that game's in. Let's see if we have any streamers. Here's another big game. Uh, what's going on here? White's winning. Whose move is it? Check. White's winning. Like, look at this, guys. This is very... Looks are very deceiving in chess. We're up a whole night, right, as black. But there's two rooks on the file here with the smile. What is uh, Aaron Nimzowicz from my system, if you got that book. It's a good book, very good book, but very, very advanced. They got some big words in there that you will have to use Google in a dictionary to figure out what he's talking about. But Aaron Nimzowicz has a very nice uh, thing in the book that says, Brooks on the seventh rank, you should never allow this in a way. So he's just going to flex real hard here, check, check up, check real hard. Yeah, just, just, just hit him everywhere. We could take here. Yep. That's that's correct. And then maybe just go back. Oh, he just wait. Oh, that was sweet. Rook takes and then well, yeah, yeah, this is winning. Yikes. Beautiful play there. Beautiful finish in the end. You can take the rook first. It doesn't matter here. Doesn't matter. He's just gonna play that on. I'm not under a throw wow. I'm not under a oh foul wow. Okay, Aaron. Okay, yeah, flex on the James. What's up, Shane? Okay, Aaron, you out there in the big fella numbers now, huh? Flexing real hard. I see you. Wow, he over a thousand now. Over a thou wow. Congrats, big fella. Congrats, Aaron. What book man, what books do you recommend for 550? Well, first off, tactics in every part of the lessons tab on chess.com. That's number one. And then um, number two, probably reassess your chess, fourth edition by uh Jeremy Silman. It's a great one. Grace one. Great one. Ooh, yikes. Creek is getting crushed here. But he's just gonna play on dang he getting crushed by 2300 too. That kind of hurts, man. Yikes. Yikes, he's getting crushed here. Yikes. Yeah, it always sucks when you lose to somebody so much lower rated than you. It really hurts. It really hurts. Tactics, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Come on, Kong Garu. Don't give out all the Jedi secrets here at the channel. That's correct. That is correct. Let's update the standings here. Standings and shout out to everybody. Now, of course, in the beginning, in the beginning, you're going to see a lot of this, right? In the beginning, you're going to see a lot of... um. A lot of the, the lower rated players, people under 2,000 actually, um, getting in the top spots. Then halfway through, halfway through, there's an hour and 10 minutes left. About halfway through, usually at the 50, 60 mark, 60 minute mark, there's going to be, um, it's going to flip. It's going to completely flip. And all, you'll see all the red, which right now they're facing all the big boys. That's why you see them all down here. Even Hikaru is like, where is he, right? You know, so it just happens right there. So, you know, that's all it is. It is what it is. So, all right, let's go to the next games. Let's see what we have. Okay, let's go here. Got an IM here. Let's check out this IM game. This is a streamer's tournament. So if you're a streamer, if you're a streamer, you will be able to stream and you'll be able to uh, see this, actually. You'll be able to see a lot of streamers. They, they compete for prizes. There's big prize money on the line for this stuff, too. Pretty good. So if you are streaming, you may actually check your game. A lot of these players are streamers because this is Arena Kings. Let's see what we got here. I want to check out some big games. Let's check this one out. Hikaru drew the first game after 1H3. Hikaru can do whatever he likes, right? He can do whatever he likes. I'm going to play 1H3, you know, and then make it make a book out of it. He would. I mean, he B3, right? Who who uh, B3 fans, raise your hand. 1B3. If that's you, you probably got the inspiration from Hikaru. Bishop C5 check. And then Rook takes B3 is on the cards here. He could have played that last move. Yeah, he could have played that because this bishop covers E7. B3, there it is, right? B3. Yeah, 1B3. One, one bishop C2 hitting the Rook. Bishop takes B3. I'm loving Black's position here. The bishops are doing what they do, actually. Bishop takes C4. Very nice. And capturing here with a pass pawn. Also queening on the square. We have the bishop 4. So even better here. Even better. Probably push. Pass pawns must be pushed. That's another thing from my system, from Aaron Nimzowicz, guys. Great book, very advanced, but it is a great book. Bishop d6 and maybe rook b4. We're trying to queen this. Is this check really scary? Maybe just play g6. g5, even better. 
when you find a good move look for a better one even better here g5 is really strong nice hi thanks love bow appreciate it yeah g5 is really strong he was making look for the king or left but you also were attacking the pawn at the same time big fella find a good move look for a better one eric hansen is in trouble here down three pawns opposite color bishop in game so we need to keep more pieces on the board if we start to trade as eric hansen here this game is all the way over right now we still have some fighting chances just a little bit who is playing this is uh eric versus not sure who this gm is actually the grandmaster from venezuela venezuela okay so bishop to e3 uh white to move eric's playing whatever he can oh is he winning that not yet actually oh he could play huh he could have played rook down as well like rook here would have pinned and you would have just almost win a piece there Maybe bishop f3, take the rook, then bring the rook over here. Push it all the way through. Check the king with no shelter and then queen. Yeah, that was the plan. That was a great plan. Here, this works too, though. We up a piece and we a beast. That's a wrap there, guys. This is going to be a wrap. Two seconds for Eric Hansen. He doesn't have enough time and he doesn't have enough pieces to win this game here. Ouch. Just tough to see him go down, but he did go down to a very strong opponent. So nothing much you can say about that. Very strong opponent. You already know. You know, so... Thank you for the love chat. Sorry for the response. No problem, Maya. You did great. You did great. Uh, we have a we have a lot of uh, we have um, people. We have people that chess.com has a team for that. Le Levia, Olivia, chess.com has a team for that. So that's what that's how that's handled. Let's check the standings though. Okay, so Mongolian rook four out of four. We got three out of three over here. I don't like this position for white. I say that because I this is very strong. This reminds me of, of course, the Karakhan Exchange. Karakhan Exchange has a lot of uh, potential to have positions like this. With the bishop here just hitting a brick wall, and you do have this counterplay down the G file. That's extremely scary. Now, it's always, this is the rule. Whoever castle, whoever gets to the king first on opposite side castles, two sides definitely have castled on the opposite side. So we went queen side, he went king side. Whoever, watch this guys, watch this game and remember what I'm about to say. Whoever gets to this king first is going to win. Whether it's white with this attack or it's black with this attack, whoever gets there first, the game is over. It's a wrap, start a new one. So let's see here, he did lock it up, Petrosian style. Petrosian has a very famous game where there's something happened like this, where as soon as you push one of the pawns, we push past you, locking up your potential counterplay, and the game's a wrap there, my guy. The game's a wrap there. So this looks pretty good, though, doubling on the file with a smile. But Bishop F1 is extremely strong. What a move. This bishop wasn't doing anything. Uh, shout out to Costia, Costia by the way. Costia is uh, playing here, International Master. Not sure if he's streaming, but he does stream on the dojo, Chess Dojo Live. So you guys can go check him out, Chess Dojo Live over there with David Pruis. You have a Jesse Cry, Grandmaster, and Hello Costia. Extremely strong crew there. So I'm not sure if they're streaming on that channel or if he's streaming on his personal channel. But he's, he's probably streaming this event. Arena Kinks, 95, and we live trying to make things work. Maybe Queen F3, but then Knight D5. Again, what did we say when we first got to this position? I have a lot of experience against this position, and I am not a fan of it. I have not a fan. I've lost many games. Or not having the attacking chances that I look for, being an aggressive player, I wasn't able to get it with, with, the, with this big, strong center like that. And as you see, White is struggling to figure things out as I'm on the defense the entire time. Now, finally, we got a little bit of offense here, but realistically, what can you do? If you think about this in a realistic standpoint, what is the real plan? For, for white besides just defending it doesn't seem cool it doesn't seem fun and, and this is not something we wanted with the white pieces love chess dojo live costia is streaming yeah he's streaming right now that's my guy that's my guy costia what's up chess toka welcome to the stream a6 look bad yeah a6 uh yeah i mean he tried to make it work though he tried to do whatever he can because he understands that rule very well whoever gets to the king first is going to win oh man hey i'm hype my rating's higher than costia right now costia is extremely strong so my rating's a little bit higher i'm like let's go let's go my blizz rating a little bit higher right now rook c2 queen c6 check yeah this is ugly this is not fun <laughs> not fun fun for black but not for white here not for white can't you do you play in these arenas sometimes sometimes i'm focusing more on um you know i tell my students 70 percent study 30 percent play uh, and sometimes a little bit more on play it just depends on how much studying you've been doing but studying up for tournaments i have a tournament coming up actually this month in two weeks i'm going to charlotte so i am studying up so i'm doing a lot of study but also 
uh, play as well. So um, not not in these events too much. Usually I'm, I'm studying up until I, I get the uh, what I want over the board. I'm a real beginner at chess. Just need to play more, I suppose. Play and study. Use. I'm telling you, get a premium account, chess.com. Go to the lessons tab and go crazy. I'm telling you, you're going to be a better player. And you should be doing Puzzle Rush every single day of your life and almost all day of your life. Of course, you can't do that all day, but uh, check. Whoa, check. Hold up. Hold up. We got some counterplay, big fella. Yeah, we can do that. Check. Okay, I'm out your way. Have a nice day. Whoa, look at Kosia turn this boy around on this clown. He's not a clown, but it just rhymed. Queen B7. Queen C7 is great. Queen C7. Uh, well, actually, we was about to play Bishop B4, but why not do it now? Is that GG? Is that a wrap? We have Queen C7, and then we're going to check, and then he goes... Oh, well, never mind. He could block. I thought he was getting another pawn, but we're not. Oh, yikes. He was winning. He was winning. He was super winning. Uh-oh. Yeah, it might be a draw. Shoot. Oh, take the pawn. Oh, yikes. Don't do that. Don't block with your face, please. This is a family. Oh, my goodness. He blocked with his face. This is a family channel. Send the stretcher to this man address. We got it on file with the smile. That hurts. Oh, my goodness. Man, imagine being in a fight. And you wanted to block, and you used your face to block with it. That's exactly what just happened there. Yikes! Do you recommend playing more for? Do you imagine? Do you recommend playing more for beginners? Yes, you have to play a lot. You got to play a lot. Yikes! That hurt there, man. That hurt me watching that. Man, I felt like I got hit in the face there. That was that hurt, man. He was we was rooting for him too. He was doing great. He was doing real good, and then bam! Oh my goodness, what happened? He was here, and then he wasn't. It, but he was in time trouble. Four seconds on the clock. It's understandable to make this kind of mistake. With four seconds on the clock, as we do say, you have to use the clock as a piece as well. The clock is a piece, and you have to treat it as such, which means you have to have great time management. So let's see what we have here for white. Let's take a look at the standings real quick. Five out of five. Okay, yeah. Like we said, guys, you see the lower rated players up here at the top? Now, what's going to happen is there's going to be a huge flip. There's going to be a huge flip. So around the 60-minute mark, we're going to see a huge flip of all the other the other players, the uh, the title players being up there at the top. Okay, so knight takes g3, c6 is on the board. Okay. Okay, queen takes f8, knight c7, is that a piece? Whose move is it? Why does this not work? Right. What am I missing? What am I missing here? Bishop check is scary, but I don't see a follow-up. I just step out the way. Have a nice day. Yeah, that's a wrap. Yikes. You have your own channel? I do, man. I'm not sure. Let me see if it's updated. Yep, there we go. That's my channel right there. Wait, why did he resign? He was losing his queen. Squid squad. What's up, bro? Let's go. Knight h4 for the score. That is not a move, though. What is he trying to do? You just take the rook and like, you know, everything must go sale. Pretty simple here. If check, you step out the way. Have a nice day. Queen F2. Maybe queen. No, queen G4 is blocking with your face. Once again, don't do that. Um, It looks scary. It looks extremely scary. I don't really have to take this. But what if I do? Right. You always have to ask yourself, what if I do it anyway? King takes check and then you just step back and the bishop has no range yet. I think he can take this knight, guys. I think he can get away with it. Easy follow. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, blue. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think I think he can um, capture this. To be honest, king takes check. King h1, bishop h3. Okay, that's what he was looking at. Bishop h3. Dang, maybe you can't take that. Yikes. Hmm. So what do you do then? Okay, so there's no immediate checks. So maybe like queen f1. Then I'm up in exchange. I'm up in exchange. So I don't have to take this check. King h1, bishop h3. Yeah, that would be scary. I'm not into that at all. So. We don't want to give him that kind of counterplay. Yeah, queen f1. Yeah, just attacking at night, but that went way down. Okay, so now I'm, now this is where we look at the engine to see what they tell us what we should have done here. Rook b8 was the best move. Okay, so rook b8 tying everything down. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. But queen f1 is what I was thinking too as well because it's just kind of dangerous. Like, But queen f1 is the better move. I mean, rook b8 was the better move. Okay, so maybe go back to b1 and then try to go rook b8 again. There it is. Rook b1 for rook b8 once again. Bishop check. Whoa, slight mate threats. Slight. Finch, for instance, moving the knight somewhere crazy like knight f1. Yeah, this is why he play h3 to give himself, uh, give himself a square. Because if the knight would have moved and bishop f3 happens, there's checkmate. 
gross, absolutely gross. So these bishops are cutting the board up, slicing the board with this knight involved as well. I don't think there's enough though. He needs like one more piece or even a pawn. If a pawn or a piece is anywhere around this area, this game could be over for white. But that's not the case. And he's going to try to make that happen. As you see him moving the bishop, you might you, you got to do what we got to do. King F, ooh, yikes, check. Do you really want to take it? That's a wrap. No, I'm not into that. That's a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap. 20 seconds though. 20 seconds. Let's see what happens. You know, I'm this is so confusing. Yeah, just keep working, man. Just keep working. A lot of these things, we try to make it as easy as possible, but you do have to have some fundamentals down and like playing and then this is fast chess as well. There's a lot to it. But welcome, Arashua. Pretty equal now. Look at these past pawns. Two past pawns, even though we're down in exchange. Two miners with a rook and a knight. Looking for a draw here. Yeah, he'll take a draw. He said, yeah, bro, let's take a draw all day because I don't have anything else to do. Now I'm locked on beating him. There you go, hot milk. Okay, crushing time. Hey, James, what's up, Gotham? What's going on? I don't play it so much, but I do understand the memo. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This doesn't look that good. Two pieces versus a rook. It all depends on the position. What's he going to do? Oh, it's one second on the clock. Black wins. Wow, he flagged them. What a flag. What up, James? What's up, Quantum? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, that's a flag there. Flag means run out of time. So he ran out of time that game, and it's a wrap. Six out of six for all these players. Five out of five. Tidy, 23, 12. Five out of five. Okay. Cool. All right, let's see some more big boy games. Let's check this national master out here. Playing Halbert. Nice. From Brazil here. Take, take, and that's a piece. No, nope, no, nope, never mind. Well, that was even now. That's even. It was a trade. So you have to back this up. Really nothing to think about here. Bishop g6, you have to back that up. He pushes forward, captures. c5 would allow d5, so we play rook d8 first to play c5 to bully this. Maybe queen e6. There it is. Queen e6 takes. Question is, you could take this way. That damages the structure. Now that move. Maybe we just play rook d5, yeah, and just chill and double on the bubble. Dub on the bub real quick, easy, make it easy. a5 is very strong too because you have a4 coming. a4 is extremely annoying. Just throw it out there. This is a voluntary pin. You usually don't want to put yourself in a voluntary pin, guys. But there's no way to, I guess, exploit it yet. But queen g6 is strong. It's also hitting g2 as well. And a4 is still in the cards here. Definitely loving black's position. Definitely loving black's position here. How do you avoid stalemate? Uh, <laughs> easy, hard and easy at the same time. Hey, James, how's the GM grind going? What's up? What's going on, Sabo? Yeah, we work it, man. I got a tournament this month. Uh, I'll be playing in Charlotte on the 16th or 17th. It starts on the 17th. Playing in Charlotte over the board. Going uh, going to get these norms, big fella. Going to get them. You know what I'm saying? Going to get them. So takes. Okay. Maybe rooks. Rook takes. Queen here. I don't know. I like black's position still. If we take, take. Check. Mm, not enough yet. Not enough. I think he's just running around. So, as an alternative, I don't know. Shoot. Probably wanted to keep them on, to be honest. This is going to help white out a little bit more. But, okay, he still is a pawn. But we get one, too? Mm, equal. Equal. Definitely equal. Congratulations on the new signing. Thanks, BH. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. What's a Finchetta, James? A Finchetto? Finchetto is um or finchetto is when you um you put a bishop literally on a long diagonal. That's really the best way to put it. You put a bishop on a long diagonal here. It's either putting the bishop on g7, b7, g, uh, b2, or g2. And you put the bishop there for long range sniper abilities. That's what you want to think of bishops as long range snipers. The further they are away, sometimes they're they're also they can't be attacked. So a bishop on a8 can attack everything on this diagonal, and it's also staying out of the way of potential danger so hi nice to meet you nice to meet you dave essential for us to be three players <laughs> that's right mark Civelli. can't explain it right now thanks just win yeah yeah so yeah i mean this was a tough game honestly pretty good game from both players here halbert being an underrated player playing the stronger player uh tidy here i don't know that might have been that felt like that was losing because i was closer but we'll see. This is why you got to study your end games. How was your day? Day was great, man. Chess is life. Life is chess. Putting in some super study because uh, I prep extremely hard when I go to tournaments. I have a tournament coming up, so I'm prepping dumb hard. I mean, my usual prep is times five. Uh, how? Uh, King works. 
What up? What, how you doing? What's up? Someone three four two five. I wish I was a B three player. Automatically looks sophisticated. Keep trying it. So Kings Indian is a Finchetto. Yes, yes. Will he flag? Oh, he about to flag. Look at that. He is gonna flag. There's no possible way he not flagging in this. <laughs> this is not happening. And he flags there, and Harvard takes a big boy win for the spin. Good job, man. Good job, Harvard. I think he's streaming too, by the way. You're a good chess player. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, look at all these. Like no one up here is a title player. Besides number seven here, he just lost that game. But again, guys, we're going to see it flip. All of this is going to flip around the halfway mark. Kenty has a video on B3. <laughs> uh, against B3, Mark Savelli. Playing against B3. Let's get that right. I definitely get, to get that right because I'm not a fan of playing it. It's, it's, it's annoying. But, hey, you catch a lot of people off guard. It caught me for a long time. Queen F3 takes, takes, and... H5 is hanging. What's the pawn count? Always know what the material count is. We just take that. Yeah, not even think twice about it. Now, I wonder why the engine is going crazy here. There we go. Pretty, pretty equal. Whoa, that was strong. That was really strong. After takes, you couldn't stop the queen. So that's why he did that. So you couldn't take the bishop. And now black's completely winning. Jeez, man, that is crazy. CJ Cecile for the kill. That's right. What's up, Andrew? What's going on, bro? CJ Cecile for the kill. How do you get better at chess? Constant study. And constant play and repeat. Study, play, repeat. How did he get here? What happened? What well, I guess time trouble happened. In time trouble, anything happens. Oh, my goodness. This is a family channel. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, he quit. <laughs> what is this nonsense? What are we looking at right now? How does... Oh, my goodness. This was insane. This was insane, bro. Like, I mean, just... Look, guys. Don't try this at home, okay? Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. All right, this this just got out of hand. He was losing, and then he went. <laughs> this was, <laughs> time trouble. Time trouble happened. That's exactly what happened. Time trouble happened. That's all it was. What's your rating? I'm twenty two twenty one FIDE, twenty three seventeen USCF. So for me, that's pretty garbage, man. I'm like, uh, you know, I should be much higher rated. So I'm about to go get that get that set in stone and done. All right, here we go. All right, so um. Nice, nice. Seven out of seven for these guys. Shout out to the people under two thousand. Wow, under two thousand. Good job. They working today. They're putting in some work. Let's see if we can find someone streaming. Someone we know. Anybody? We looked at this guy already. Check out this GM game. Who's he playing? GM versus IM action. Never bad stuff. Just that com. That's right. Hikaru. Yeah, Hikaru is somewhere. Like somewhere. We don't know where he is right now. We don't know where Hikaru is. He's going to be. We're going to see more of him. But we're going to find him. Let me see if I can scroll. He's. uh Man, he way down here. Here he is. We found him. 79th place so far. But. Wow. Yikes. Okay. So whose move is it? Yeah. Obviously. It's uh, White's move. Because this is mate in two. So Hikaru is straight up crushing here. And he wins the game. Are norms only given in classical chess? That is correct. Anyone know if Charlotte tournament is going to be broadcasted? It is. It is. There is going to be a uh, a thing for it. It's going to be a way you can follow it. Eric Hansen, how are we doing here? Hansen, okay. Oh, but he's about to flag. Look at his pre-move skills, though. Look at his pre-move skills. Take the bishop. as a draw anyway. Cool. He got a draw there, but he was, man, he was flying. Flying, they ran out of time in a completely winning position. Sucks, but again, the clock is a piece. If you don't treat it as such, that's just how it happens, guys. You're going to flag. Now, luckily, he didn't lose because if there was an extra pawn on the board, it'd be a wrap. It'd be a wrap. Yeah, he was all the way down there. He Carl was all the way down there. Let's check out. Let's check this out, guys. For all you people under 1,000, this is for you. Let's see this game here. These guys are 700, both of them 700 here. And this is really wild. I mean, it looks like Paul Champs here right now. We got some Paul Champ action going on. King G4. Oh, man. King H4. All right. We wanted to bring the king into the position, and he flags. He runs out of time. Is 1G3 a good opening like B3? Yeah, it's flexible. It's flexible. But, I mean, flexibility has pros and cons. Somebody can be very prepared, and they might play something you're not familiar with. Uh, but it also it could throw your opponent off as well. So it's this a double-edged sword. Double-edged sword. You just need to be prepared. But it is very flexible. My money's on Hanson when it comes to pre-moves. Nice. Clock is a piece. Someone should quote that. Yeah, bro. Absolutely. Clock is a piece. My guy. The clock is a piece. 
for a base. Okay, so let's um let's see some more games. Jack Rogers. Let's check out Jack. What you doing here, Jack? Jack Rogers. He's streaming right now, by the way. He's uh from uh, Australia, Aussie, Aussie here. So um this is a draw, but look, don't try this at home, guys. This is a straight up draw. So somebody's either gonna flag or they're going somebody's gonna hang their rook. And that's gonna hurt to see. So watch here, hold on, you know, brace yourself, you know, uh, clench your teeth real hard. Man, have 911 on speed dial, please. Because I don't know what's about to happen here. Don't try this at home. This is, uh, those glasses are fire. Thanks, appreciate it. James is a big brain, thank you. Clenching real hard, real hard. Tense up. Tense up. We don't know what's about to happen here. Somebody's about to drop something, though. Okay, no bloodshed, nothing crazy, and we got a draw there. All right, that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be that way, but it doesn't go that way all the time. What's the format for the tournament? If this is 3 0, 3 0, 2 hour arena, 3 0. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's check the standings again as they update as they come in. All right, same, looks about the same. Looks about the same. Not much has changed yet. Not much has changed. Let's check out Karen. Is Karen streaming? Karen's losing right now, though. Karen's getting mated, actually. It's mated too. Rook takes e7, king d8, and the other one. Yeah, Karen lost that one. But Karen, uh, shout out to Karen, streamer as well. Follow, thanks. You followed, and it says thanks. Yeah, yeah this was made anyway. So Karen had a tough game there. Tough game for Karen, but she's getting stronger. She's getting stronger. Much, much stronger than what she used to be. It's good. You always want to be going up. I always want to be going up. Um, it's good to check your stats, your 30-day stats on chess.com. You're able to do that and check to see if you're going up in the last 30 or going down. And then you have to figure out why you're going up or down and uh, fix it accordingly or step on the gas if you're going up. Let's check some more games out. Let's check out, oh, nice. Gata, Gata Kamsky here going crazy. Just look at the eval bar going nuts. Uh, queen takes, was rook takes f5? No, that was just too much. You always have to reverse the move order anyway. But that was just too much. He didn't even want the piece. He's like, I, I don't even want it. And Rick check, flex real hard. He checked him here, same way. The same way. Same idea, guys. Same idea. Canty Pog, what's up? Sure, next. Welcome to the stream. And actually, what he was threatening, this is even stronger. I mean, look how, bro, he's so strong. If King H8, it was mate. But King G8 is not mate, so you take the rook. But this one gives him the option to go King G8 without mate. I mean, both of them are decisively winning. Doesn't really matter. But the fact that he chose this move because there is mate if King H8 is just a quality, very quality and very, very strong chess. Always looking for the best move. Let's check some GM on IM action here. Eight seconds for the IM. He is down on time. His bishop is gross. Rook E6. Um, the king is extremely safe because this extra pawn here that we're going to probably use for attack too as well. He brought the rook back around. Maybe go to e1 because that was attacked. So now we're a little bit passive here. A little bit passive, but we have time as a huge advantage here. We're up so much time that we almost can hang a piece here. Don't try that at home. But you almost can hang a piece here and be okay because of the time situation. Queen f3, threatening knight f6, check. So you play queen c6. And maybe queen f5 anyway. G5, there it is. Eventually we was going to get that in. When in a, not enough time there, he flags. And he goes down. He goes down there. Yeah, it feels like it's, oh, it's updating. I was like, is this even updating? It looks exactly the same. But no, do have some updates here. Even his rating went up a little bit too. Mongolian Rook. Rook is going up. Check out IM and NM action here. Oh, this is a win. Look at this. Nice. King F6. King F7. Yep. A little bit of shouldering. A little bit of opposition. Uh, king over. Oh, actually, to the edge. To the edge. To the edge of the board. King here. King here. Push. King here. Push. King. What is he doing? How do you not know how to win this? Oh my goodness. Nobody, somebody don't know the end games. Somebody don't know the end games. King up, king here, king here, king here, king h6, king here. There's no edge to the board. Oh my, you know what? I'm done. Hey, we out. We out. Stream's over, y'all. Stream's over. I can't believe he did this. I cannot believe this man did not see this. No, you study your end games, y'all. Don't let this be you. Don't let this be you. Don't let this be you. Look, look at this. Watch this. Look at this nonsense. Look at this nonsense, right? Well, what's supposed to happen is right here, you go to the edge of the board. And there's no edge, so it's actually opposition by itself because the king is on the edge of the board. And then you push. I mean, simple. And then we queen. What are we doing? 
What are we doing? Not studying our end games, obviously. Man, jumping off the deep end. He did. He jumped all the way down with a smile. But he got a draw. He didn't lose some. Was, was that a Michigan tattoo? Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. That makes me feel a bit better when a title player do that. Yeah, you know what, guys? Hey, clap it up. Clap it up. Pat yourself on the back. You are, you're you're going to be just fine, right? We're all human. Yeah, some of us are half human, like Hikaru, Nerditsky, Jospom. People in the 3,000 club, even 2,900 plus. you you half human. The other half, we don't really know yet. But they are half human. Was that I am drunk? Maybe. Maybe. He might, he might have had a few drinks or something. I mean, because that was just almost unacceptable. In a way. It happens. Are you a Wolverine fan? I'm a Michigan fan of all sports, um, sadly. But, you know, it is. We in here pushing tight. That's right, bro. Angry James moment. No, we're not angry. We're just like, what? We, we just uh, baffled at the fact that he just didn't see that. That's a book draw. That's a book draw. Book draw. Like, you go to the book, and it says draw. You look that position up, and there is, like, a big word D R A W, right there in the book. All right, but of course, if you look at it, um, I mean, sorry, this is a book win. I meant the other way around. You know what I meant? <laughs> w I N. <laughs> Nick, can't you love your thirty second grind yesterday? Did you like that? Yeah, it was supposed to be W I N. That's what he was going for, right? But let's see. Uh, let's see this next game. Krikor, for all you guys that um, speak Spanish, uh, him from Brazil. Here, Krikor. Oh, he usually streams. He streams sometimes in English, but. This is my guy, Krikor, very, very strong, uh, but he's not having a good game here. Dang, Zinzo going crazy. Zinzo going crazy. He gets some great positions against some very strong players. Black's completely winning. This is another in game here. So, yeah, shout out to Krikor. Has a ring to it. There you go, Quantum. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Seems unacceptable, especially being up on time. But, I mean, you know, you have to think about this. It, it, mistakes happen, just not as often. Oh, my goodness. Was that mate? Oh, it's not. Yikes. Takes, takes. Yikes. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. There's nothing you can do about that. Krikor is going down in this one. Oh, no, wait. Maybe not. He has to move. You had to pre-move that. He had to pre-move that. If he would have pre-moved these two, yeah, he probably still wouldn't have got it, though, because that point one. That's Spanish Portuguese. Thanks for that, bro. So I was like, eh, I'm not sure, but I don't speak the language. But yeah, he definitely he definitely streams in another language. I think his native language there. Um, many times, King. Yikes. Yeah, this is why, why are we even looking at this? This is sorry, Eric. Sorry, we put this on the screen. Sorry, Eric. Let's get this off the screen real quick. Let's just get this off the screen. Okay, Costia. Rick F1. Take take. Man. Jeez, what is going on? This is a family channel, bro. This is getting out of hand. You know, this check looks nasty, but of course it's covered right now, so we couldn't do it. So I'm going to rook F8 instead, because there's a lot of stuff around my king, says Black. A lot of stuff around my king. Man. Strong stuff. Wow. Oh, my goodness, Costia. Costia swinging. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Wow, that was strong. Did you see him catch him with the 211 there? With the Swindle Master. Swindle Master flex a lot. Wow, look at that. Look at that, mate, bro. That's great. That's beautiful. That's Puzzle Rush right there. Uh, he, somebody's doing their Puzzle Rush. Somebody's doing their Puzzle Rush. That's pretty obvious. Are you doing your Puzzle Rush is the question. Wow, that was fire. <laughs> Hit that man with a move. Hit that man with a move. It seems like they're like not moving, but they really are, though. Because the car was up. The car was up a little bit more. With the KO. Yeah, like uh he like uh chess bras, shout out to the boys. For the boys. Yeah, they got that KO thing. That's so sweet. The little KO thing they be using. Oh, fine. It's winning this one. Nice. Oh, wait a second. Let's take that back. Whoa, Harvard. Oh my goodness. Harvard is beating fine gold. Harvard, you I would be done for the tournament. Like I'm done. Why am I still playing? Harvard just beat Fingo. Like, shout out to Harvard. Wow. I mean, I knew he was strong, but he just beat Harvard. I mean, he just beat uh Ben. Ben had a great position too. Great position here. Great attacking chances. Yeah, this was beautiful. What happened? Where'd it go wrong?
Oh, oh yeah, he just jumped off the deep end there. Wasn't nothing else to do. Man, that was crazy. Harvard, shout out to Harvard, man. Harvard just took down a big boss like Fine Gold just now. That was crazy. Wow, GG. GG. Oh, nice mate there. That's interesting. Where is this pawn going this way? This is like a strange mate. Like, how did this happen, right? You know, that's a strange one to help to happen there. Very strange mate. Like, how did that actually happen? And that one's kind of strange. Bean screen is nasty. He's very strong, obviously. As you see, his rating, 2715. Super strong here. Hit the man with a check. Let's see what happens. We have two pass pawns. This should be not easy to convert. You do have to watch out for potential checks and weird stuff that can happen. Oh, that, that, that should work. Make sure you're not hanging nothing. He could bring the knight back. And either or would have worked. That was not a move, though. Uh, he at least tried to... F you want to fight at least... Oh, it's two seconds. That's why he's doing this. Two seconds left. He's saying you can't do it in two seconds. But he can. Look in, and then he's going to do the ladder. That, yeah, all the way around. You can pre-move this. You can pre-move this. Yep, that's nice. You pre-move it, and sometimes I'll be, like, dancing on stream with the turn up, with the music going. Because, like, this is a, this is easy. You just pre-move it all the way out, and luckily chess.com lets you be able to do this. So you can pre-move every single move out, and it's a wrap. That's that's done with 1.2. 1.2. Seattle, nice. Seattle in the building. Welcome to the chat. What's up, Ike42? What's going on? Let's check the standings here. Same old Hikaru jumping up though. He was in 15th. Look at this. Hikaru the only one. You see no other red, but Hikaru. Hikaru with a vengeance right now. It looks like he probably got two draws there because we know he got another a draw ahead of another draw. So for him to have nine out of ten here, it looks like he got two draws to make it one full point there. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten for Hikaru. So let's check him out. Let's see where he is. He's in range. So let's check out the man, the myth, the legend himself. This looks like some type of hippo. But oh, it's a modern. Oh yeah. So I was studying a little bit of the modern. In this, in this modern defense, and actually the tiger modern is what they'll call it. You bring this knight over to d7. You're gonna play c5 and rook c8. So he actually stopped a lot of that. But the plan usually, especially here again, guys, opposite side castles, and that's happened. Whoever gets to the king first is gonna win. So g4 immediately was played there, followed by pawn takes, and now we're gonna play h5 and we live. Now black has to do something asap. H5 is very scary. If you are not Hikaru, this is very scary. H5 is going to be answered with bishop h6 and start a new game. So, you can't play h5 immediately. Bishop e2 is very strong. It does allow knight f2, of course. We are getting some material, but at the same time, this is still slightly scary. And now he can play bishop h6 anyway. Oh, but he has rook g1. Okay. Yeah, bishop h6, rook g1. He's okay. Slightly. But then we have f6, don't we? It's very risky because you're moving a lot of pawns around your king. But that does pick up some material. Bishop h6, rook g1, f6. Wins material. It does. But he has knight e6. We take, he takes my queen, I take the knight, he takes the bishop. We come back to e5. That knight's trapped, actually. So if this bishop comes back to e5 in that line, the knight will be trapped here on b7. And we can play rook b8 or rook a7 to pick that up. Let's see what Hikaru does here. Knock over president. You know. Blunder or sacrifice? Maybe both. Maybe both. Maybe both here. Hikaru was thinking. He doesn't want to do this bishop h6. Maybe bishop h6, knight e4 then. Is that what he's thinking about? I'm not sure. He is in the think tank right now, though. Oh, yeah. I went to the school of Hikaru. Yeah. Yeah, I went to... He, he hosts a school on how to draw these arrows. And, um, you know, I took that class and I graduated with honors. Yo, come on. He's not even moving here. Like he's not even moving. He's still thinking. Now, it's a problem. It's scary, right? You're like He's not even moving, but that's actually scary. You should be very scared that he's not moving. What is he doing? He didn't calculate it. You see, I drew some arrows. This man then drew arrows across the whole board. It don't even make sense. Like, this rook can't even go over here. But he somehow... Can, oh, yeah, it, could probably, it can get there in 17 moves. Hikaru just showing off. That's what he does. Letting you know I'm here. What's up, BCD? Welcome to the stream. Canty's a legend. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, and Carl's like a cat. Scariest when he's not moving. Yeah, it's very scary when he's not moving. Oh man, you you need to be frightened. He is thinking of something very diabolical, and something very diabolical. Rook f six. So what happened there actually? So this got a little strange. Look okay, how zero. A little strange. Takes takes. Rook f six. Um, white. Oh man, look at the look at the eval bar. Come on, not good. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. I thought Bishop h six. He played queen e seven. Let's see what the engine move is. So moves you can make here are Bishop c eight. G takes h5 and queen d7. So bishop h6 and queen e7 are not moves even considered by the engine. So 
it was actually a really tough position. This is a position he's in now. It's plus four. You see the eval bar going nuts right now. Going nuts. That's not a move for my opponent. That's right. Think for a minute, then blunder. That's how I play. <laughs> it happens. Oh, man. He looking at the ceiling and saying gibberish, and then the end, and black is winning. <laughs> All right. He looks up at the ceiling. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And then black's winning. And then eval bar says otherwise. Now, here, actually, it's equal, super equal now. He couldn't find the combination as. We are humans here, so it's hard to find this kind of stuff. I was thinking, did knight d6 work? I mean, knight d6 was definitely... It, 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 knight takes d6, right? King takes and then queen check, right? That was a strong sequence, very strong. I think that was extremely strong. You know, you always want to lead with the forcing moves first. c3 locks him in, but not really, though. I'm just coming out the back way. Coming out the back door, see who's home. Rook g8? No, that's, that's defensive. That's defensive. Usually you want to look for offense first. The best defense is offense. So Rick F8, King back up. This is defended still, so don't block with your face. King A7, hide for some shelter here. Play with Bishop C5 and maybe push the pawn through. We're also up so much time. This is going to be an easy time win. Easy time win. Evi Bar vibing. Yeah. Easy time win for Ikaru here. 10 seconds on the clock. There it is. Yep, he moved that Bishop back, and he's just going to start pushing these pawns. Now I can go to the file, though. I would have probably went here first just to get a check off. Well, that was terrible. Now we got two connected pass pawns. Walking the dogs in the park. Very easy. B5. Take, take. Simple. Naka was not happy with that win. Of course, yeah, he was losing at one point. He was he was losing at one point. Let's actually see. I want to see what was the... It was like plus four, right? So where was that at? Like what happened? So we're going to see that real quick. See what that was. So right here... Rook f6 is actually plus 5. Best move, let's see it. Best move, well, it actually went to plus 3. It was queen h2. And then bishop c8. Oh, it says queen e5 is a move as well. This is the best move. Queen e5, bishop e6, king f8, and then... Oh, yeah, takes, takes, and then knight h7. We just go up in exchange is what he's saying. But it's still playable, but he is down in exchange. Not the stuff he's trying to do. Not the kind of game he's trying to have. Let's check. Uh, take a look at the standings. Update it here. Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. Great stuff. Hikaru is creeping back into the standings for real. He's been between 8th and ninth place for the last few games. Let's check him out again. Why not? The man, the myth, the legend. Knight g5. Yeah, this is already trouble. It looks like he sacked an exchange somewhere. Where, though? How did this happen? He sacked an exchange. Okay, so we got a Carol Khan. Bishop c2. Oh, he sacked right here. And then knight g5 and we live. And you're going to put the knight on e6. So an exchange sacrifice here. So I got, you know, I sacrificed my rook for a bishop. But then I'm also getting a pawn for it too as well. Right. And I have a strong knight on e6, which is extremely annoying to his whole life. So rook f7. This knight here is considered now an octopus. That's what they say in Reassessor Chess. The fourth edition, when you get to the knight's chapter. When you get this knight that's this close into the territory of your opponent... It is now called an octopus, but he does take it for the strong dark square bishop. And now we have compensation with the bishop pair, which is extremely strong. Yes, I don't have my rook. You know, I, I, I'm I down in exchange. I'm not down a piece, but I'm down in exchange. But I do have the bishop pair to compensate me. And your dark square bishop is gone. Hence, you see the evaluation bar saying it's about equal plus one. That's still fairly equal um, in human standpoints. You usually anything up to plus two human standpoint as you just saw the Carl's game was plus five and then it was equal and then it was like weird right it's always like that so anything up to like plus two though in human standpoints is usually an equal position here so with that being said though with these two rooks doubled up stuff like this uh, white has a very nice position with these bishops he's going to try to work it we have created some holes around our king though oh that's a piece right that's a piece from the east yeah that's a wrap that's a wrap gg start a new one so I don't know when it'd be easier for all of us. It'd be easier for all of us. Nice caps, yeah. All right, what's going on, XI? What's going on? It's not a blunder, it's a gambit. Okay, that's new. It's not a blunder, it's a gambit. Nice. That's what's up, bro. Okay, queen d4. Or c5. Uh, c5. Bishop c3 with the intention of playing d5, using the bishops as we should. Trying to mate, and we great. And look at these weaknesses around the king. Because that bishop's gone, you can never, ever oppose this one. So if d5 happens, it's a wrap. Okay, so I got if d5 happens, 
What's stopping me? Am I missing something? Do you have a check I'm missing? Yeah, I would have just went D5, bro. And that's what we did it for. D5. Yeah, he, you just go D5, bro. Knight G4, even better. Oh, my goodness. Knight H6. <laughs> Knight H6 is mate. Just gross. He's absolutely gross. Didn't even need to use this. Knight H6. He went here, here, and then ending the game with Knight H6. He's savage, bro. Absolute savage. I was just browsing your commentaries. Mind blown. Thanks, man. I am a regular, man. Absolutely. We have a lot of great commentators, and I am one of the regulars. And it's an honor to be here and always hanging out with you guys. You guys always make it fun. All right. We have uh, Hikaru in sixth place. We just going to get a hey, look. Hey, I know you guys don't care. Uh, you know, you guys don't mind. So let's just check out Hikaru again. Why not? You know, free lessons from half man, half everything else. Hikaru. It's right there in the chat now. Chess Win just posted it right there for you, Ben. Thank you, Chess Win. Okay, 95. You have a. Uh... Wait, what was this opening? Clemens opening. Wow. Hikaru trolling everybody today. Look at this. H3, move one. H3, you know, that would make me mad. Usually, I'm like, I'm about to crush you. Now, you're going to play H3? I'm about to crush you, right? But, of course, you know, you can't just crush Hikaru. It's just not going to happen. So, you know, what this is, it's not that it's a terrible move. You just have to think about it's an inclusion of H3 extremely early. Extremely early. You're going to play H3 eventually sometime probably in the game. Maybe A3. So, this is why it's an inclusion of it just extremely early. But, you know, he's easy car where we can do this kind of thing. And as you see, as the, as the position unravels and, and it unfolds, you get a regular position here. So H3 is a move that you would regularly make at some point, right? So they just played it move one. It also doesn't tell your hand at all, right? It's a very flexible, you know, flexibility. And I've seen this from Ikaru a lot, which actually I like to use in my own games as well. It's his ability to stay flexible is extremely, extremely good. He's a, he's a, a monster at being flexible if you think about the 1b3 opening he plays or sometimes he'll play the ready starting with one knight f3 and then he'll follow up with b3 and then he just tricks you in a move order into the larson system that you may not have been ready for or he plays the modern defense extremely flexible again he plays flexible openings playing h3 out the opening just randomness right it's it's extremely great it's extremely great and when you have the, if you pay attention to how he does this you usually you can you you can use it and model it in your own games which is really really important guys flexibility is very important <laughs> i'm gm magnus cross and i'm h3 not more right he beat joss my first game or in kings h3 he did i think he was losing though yeah he was he was losing that game and he just messed it up just in chess yeah right Again, the bishop pair, he's working the bishop pair once again. I was about to say, you want to push him. I mean, you got a center, two, pawn, well, two pawns here. One of them can become passed due to us being able to eliminate this one. Eventually, it can be passed. That's got to be wrong. That's got to be wrong. This check is very, very scary for black. And then maybe, yeah, this is this is all, this is is all over from here, guys. This is over. Hikaru's going to figure this one out. E5, just restricting the knight even further. And then uh, that's a good move. That was kind of annoying. I didn't really want to trade rooks, but I was kind of forced to. Bishop c6, now king to c7, takes, takes, and he says, this is an easy endgame for the books, boys. Watch this endgame. We're not going to draw this one like we saw in the other one. Pawn takes and then push this one. Takes, takes, play f6. Interesting. Okay, let's think about this. f5. Oh, he just resigned. He just resigned. But takes, takes, it's like d6, f6, then e6. Yeah. So if something like this, you could play d6 first, then push. And then once the bishop moves, you push again. So it doesn't matter where the bishop goes. And you push again, you'll be able to make that those two because you really need two there. You probably could take anyway, too. But um, yeah, take probably works too. I'm sure it does. Well, maybe not. Actually, let's see that. Takes, takes. Yeah, that loses. Like he gets back. He gets back. No good. You got to be careful. Have to be careful here. So let's go back to the. Yeah, Hikaru creeping up like out of nowhere. But like we said, it's 63 minutes left. And around the 60 mark is when you start seeing more of the red, which is the title players, start filling up the top spots here. But as you see, Carl is the only one by a landslide until you get to 28th place here, which is another GM. So tough competition today, to say the least. Very tough competition, as you see, Hikaru with the only one being um, being in the top, being uh, a title player in the top. Seems like Hikaru always starts slow. Well, you have to, he's going to be playing people very strong in the beginning. That's usually how it starts. You play people right around your rating until um until later 
too much later you know so oh man uh it's a, it's a spider not an octopus creepy stuff we're going to his chest terms no that's actually from the book that's actually from the book so you know that is from reassess your chest it's called an octopus so shows uh shows you're reading there can somebody please explain whether i am watching a tournament or something else oh this is a tournament bro this is reading kings i once asked your elo support Carlos says to lower rated players i'm once again asking for elo support elo support i never heard that Hikaru says that looking for elo support is he saying like he wants to does he want to he wants elo support like i don't know what that means maybe he's saying like give me your points in a nice way Give me your points. How in the world is 703rd place? <laughs> really? No, that can't be. That can't be right. That can't be right. Okay, well, how do we get here, Ikaru? What is this? What is this? H3 again? He played E4 and then Knight F3, D4. So he played a regular game here this time. He played a regular game, and he just squeezed them. He just squeezed them. Why do we say squeeze? Because E4 and C4, this is what you call a Moroxy bind from the books, is what they say. Moroxy binds. I think he's playing. Yeah, he didn't play it this time. He didn't play it this time. I am once asking, and he ran during 2020. How do you get into Arena Kings? You can play right now. It's 61 minutes left. You can literally play right now. You can play. You might get, well, these guys have more points already, so you're going to get paid players at the bottom half, people that are just starting. So you won't be getting that. Okay, 92, knight takes c1. So Hikaru's move. This pin's annoying. Why are we moving 92? Because this pin is extremely annoying, bro. Like I say. But you're like pinned twice. He's it's plus five though. But it's it's this is like a, a weird puzzle, to be honest. This is pinned 95? Oh yeah, I'm hitting this rook. That's right. Whoa, strange, very strange. What is going on? There's so much stuff hanging. And then he goes into an in-game. He's simplified here. See, I'm going to make this simple. Pawn takes, and we're going to go into an in-game where I can be winning, but it's not that clear. Oh, did he play in Vukar? I was like, why is this guy so strong? He's playing Vukar. Wow, Vukar has shown out. There was one time Vukar has played in Arena Kings, and he beat Naroditsky. I think he beat Andrew Tang. He, like, cleared everybody out. I don't think Nakamura might not have played. Maybe he did play Hikaru, but Vukar was definitely the star that day. He was definitely the star. Who do, uh, Vukar is a uh, is a force to be reckoned with and in a very, I mean, just not talked about. Not that he's underrated. He just He's just not talked about. But this man is extremely strong. Do not ever count Vukar out of the race. Look at him walking his king up closer. Now we're going to take and saying that, hey, you can't queen. Now you're going to have to. He's like forcing a draw here. Literally going to try to force the draw. Usually with the king on the back rank, the technique is walking the king over as he's doing. And you're going to walk your king up to try to promote this pawn. But in this case, you don't have any pieces left. And look at this. So now he's, bro, that was sweet. Bro, that was, bro, that was so sweet. That was so fire. That was so fire. Like, did you see this, guys? Look, beautiful. In-game 101. Check and then rook here. That was just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, my goodness. That was fire. That was fire. But now he has to uh, finish it out. Yeah, that's a wrap. He's going to get one pawn or the other. Dang, that was sweet, bro. Man. Yikes. That was just so amazing to see that part of the end game. Like, going back one more time here. Like, that was beautiful. You would think, of course, the most logical way would be doing this. But when you find a good move, you look for a better one with a rook check and then rook a3. Wow. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Hikaru. Thanks for the show. Thanks for the show, Hikaru. Thanks for the lesson, right? You know? Just, you know, just, just go to his chat and say thanks. I'm like, thanks for what? Just thanks, Hikaru. He's streaming right now. Just go put a thanks in his chat right there. Castles and B6. You want to break this up. The rule is when they cross the line, no matter what it is, they have to go. So moves like A6 and B6 should be eventually played. Of course, you are hanging material if you play B6 now. And if you play A6, then we take it, and then there's a hole on B6. So you have to be careful when you push these. As you see, he didn't push either pawn yet. B6 will not happen as that's a blunder. A6 does create the hole on B6 after it captures on C6. So now this hole is covered. But bishop A6 is a move to activate the bishop. Rook to B8, play on the queen side. Now, we can't break this up. The only way we could do this is e5. Your job is to break this up because this is extremely annoying. Okay, queen takes, takes. 
What do we do next? Rick B8. Yeah, put the Rick on the file with a smile. Pretty easy move to make. And we need to break this up. Like, literally, we need to break this up. Rick B4 for the score? Oh, yeah. Takes the pawn. Thanks for the freebie. We take those all day, every day, in every way. In every way, big fella. That's a wrap. We'll take those. We'll take all of those. Help. Big man Canty. What's up, Six Flake? Welcome to the stream, bro. And you finally made one look for better. There you go. See? There you go. You finally made one. Look for a better one. It may not be a better one, but look for a better mate. All right, rookie eight and e5. But what's my to move? Yeah, he's, he's just out of play. He's just not having a good game here, right? For black, I mean, for white. Oh, Knight's trap, though. Whoa, I don't like this that much. Knight, of, oh, snap. Okay, this is hanging. So this is hanging. So loose pieces lose games. I can just, can I take this? Maybe. The, the problem is after knight of six, bishop e5 is a wrap. You can't play knight of six. You cannot get away with knight of six. Because after you move your rook, then bishop takes f6, exploiting the pin for the win. So knight c3 is really strong, but bishop e3, yeah, I was about to say that. He's going to have to sack the exchange. That's crazy. Yeah, he's going to, even though he's winning or he's up a pawn, he's going to have to sack the exchange here in this position, which he does. And after pawn takes, we got that extra pawn with the knight out of play in a way. Knight takes c5. If rook to c1, any of them, we go knight d3. That's for me. Uh, very nice. Rook d1. Whoa, whoa. Hikaru, I'm not liking this. This is a little scary. A little scary. If rook takes, we play bishop f5? We back in the game. Give me that. Give me those. Rook b7. And now he's trying to pass, push the pass pawn as they must be pushed here, which just makes this is a completely equal game. If you see the pawns are equal here, we have a pass pawn. And we have a pass pawn that we can create as well with our pieces being able to stop these pawns quite easily here. But Hikaru is a legend and a magician when it comes to these end games. Really every game. If 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 chess.com doesn't stop king versus king, Hikaru is gonna try to flag you. That he's that kind of guy. So he's gonna try to milk this position here as much as he can, as he should. Even a draw, he a draw is like a loss for him. A draw, he loses seven, eight points on a draw. That sucks. That is ridiculous. You lose seven, eight points on a draw? I can't draw anything. I can't draw anything. What's up, EY? Yep, I do. Thanks so much, Marks Veli. Nice to have a commentary without the loud background music. Thank you. Appreciate it. Come back, kid. Kikaro. Come back, kid. Yeah. When you call him whatever, he, hey, look, that man's a monster. First time watching the things, Ben. Appreciate it. Give me to my ears. Let's go. Noobs, what's up, bro? I can draw a hand if that helps. Yep, you know what? Yeah, it, it, in a way it does. Ooh, this looks great for black, though. Pass pawns must be pushed, and this is a great one. We also can create another one. Oh, we can't push pass because bishop takes c5. Don't block with your face. Bishop takes d4, actually. King d5? Just go to the center, maybe? Let me play bishop e2 a little bit there for here. Okay, g5 takes, takes, takes... <sighs> I don't know. Hmm. Not easy. Not easy. Definitely winning, but not easy. Definitely winning, not easy, though. Check. And now it's equal. Dang. That was equal, equal, huh? Yikes. Hikaru is definitely mad. If somebody go to the stream right now. What is he saying? What is he saying? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this kind of thing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. That's funny. Yeah, he's, he's definitely saying that. Why did I just do this? That's what he said. Why did I just do this? I misplayed this. He looking all crazy with his looks, right? <laughs> looking around, shaking his head. Right? Oh, man. <laughs> Hikaru is just great. We love Hikaru. Oh, man. For every Green Kings, I will watch every Green Kings. Gladly. What's up, boys? And welcome, man. I've misplayed this. That's what he says. <laughs> you always go get something classic from Hikaru, bro. We all love Hikaru. Noble. What's up, Noble, in the chat? Shout out to Noble. Noble, I just got signed to that esports team. Shout out to Noble in the chat watching us right now. Let's go, let's go. And that was a draw. Uh, wait, Black won? What? Black won? Hold on, hold on. What was the last few moves here? King here. He walked the king around. Bro, what? How did he just win? He just resigned. He just resigned. Wow. Hey, look, we'll take it. Not, not the cleanest. But we'll take it. Hikaru has jumped up in the third place here. Hey, you know, I expected it to be way more red up here. So if you're under 2,200, if you're under 2,000 in the chat, clap it up. 
clap it up, pat yourself on the back, just like that. Y'all are representing today. Usually at this moment, it's 53 minutes left in the tournament. You'll see a lot of red through here, a lot of red. But I mean, there's only what, three? Jospin in 25th, and then you got Renato in ninth, and then Hikaru, that's it. That's it. So shout out to you. Under 2200. Yeah, you pushing tight. You pushing tight. Make sure you're doing your puzzle rush every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. All right. Let's go to uh, some more games here. Let's check out Hikaru, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, he's not playing yet. We can wait. We will wait for that, though. We will wait for that. Okay. Here it is. Okay. There's the game. Playing Mr. B2. Bet too, you know. Why is there like no chat? Oh, no chat here. What do the numbers mean next to the player names? Numbers next to the player names? Oh, that's the uh, the how much wait, it depends on which numbers you're talking about. It might be the rating here. If you're talking about 3254, that's the rating. And if you're looking at the standings, that would be how many points they have. That would be how many points they have. So Knight takes c5 is very strong. And eventually, you got to play king h1 though. Prophylactic move that, uh, who was the who was the, the strongest at that? Which which world champion was that? It was uh, Petrosian. Petrosian was the uh, strongest when it came to prophylactic moves. Queen b6 or queen d4 does not work if you were thinking, guys, because bishop e3 blocking the check. And that is, we're good to go. We in here, big fella. What's up, fan of Master Klendrick? The numbers, James, what do they mean? Yeah, we just answered that. We literally just answered that. Bishop e3, rook to d8, and rook to d1, or g4, playing f5, or d4. d4, bishop takes c4. Ooh, 94. That's beautiful. I like this move a lot. Putting the knight back on f6. Oh, that's a movie reference. I was like, bro, I have no idea what's going on with you. Hope you're okay, big fella, but we're going to pray for you, all right? No, but that's, that's a movie reference. What movie is from that from? Whoosh. What's up, guys? He's playing quick. Yeah, he's playing real quick here. Hikaru's known for playing quick. You know, he I don't know if you guys know this. Hikaru has a book out about bullet chess. He wrote it a long time ago. I think it's called A Minute to Mate. Um, shout out to anyone out there. Raise your hand if you got that book. You can go get it too. Boy. You can order it. There's even a PDF online. But it's um, it's literally a, 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 a bullet book. Like if you want to play better bullet chess, or maybe fast chess period probably, but it's it's called a minute to mate. You can go check it out. Google it right now. And there's a book on bullet chess, like an insane. Who does that? Only Hikaru. Rookie one. F five. F five. Bishop takes e five. It's gonna be. He could play bishop takes e five. That is there. That's a lie. But we are up in exchange, so it really kind of doesn't matter though. It really kind of doesn't matter. Yeah, it's so, it's so beautiful to watch him do this. Now, if king g7 is made on a move, start a new game, big fellow. And if king h8, there uh, does the check where he just resigned. But let's see what happens. King h8 being the best move. Honestly, he's just sitting around waiting to die here. He just doesn't. I understand. Right? It's just not fun. You know, like, Hikaru, look, I'm done, right? You probably could just play e6, but this check, when you find a good move, look for a better one. So check, bishop g7. Can you sack the queen? Not enough. Is this e6 fine, right? Just play e6. Yeah, e6, engine going crazy, steal. GG there. And Hikaru is jumped. Oh, he's still in third place anyway. He was already in third. Is Hikaru the best player on Twitch? Uh, let me think about that. Twitch-wise? I mean, he's one of the top. He got to be top five, top three. You know, of course, Magnus streams sometimes too. And like, you know, then you have Ali Reza streams. And, but, I mean, Rapes. Hikaru is, is the, the man. I mean, he touched, what, a million followers already on Twitch? You know, that's, uh, that's huge, man. He's paving the way. Uh, with other streamers, of course, as well. Definitely, Hikaru was leading the way there. Shout out to big ups to the big guy. You know, Hikaru. What's up, Kanti? How you doing? I'm great, man. Chess is life. Life is chess, bro. How you feeling? Welcome to the stream. There it is. Look at the stats in the chat, guys. You know, that's engine engine rating. You know, some I don't know what they are now. And guys, um, if you guys know this, feel free to put that in the chat. I'm not sure what the engines I haven't checked in a long time on, like, what engine ratings are these days. But, I mean, if you look at his bullet rating. 3570 was his highest bullet rating. 3570, you know, there are engines that are lower rated than that. <laughs> 3680, like, look at that. Stockfish knew it's 3680. Hikaru, 3570. That is unreal. Unreal. Unreal, bro. It don't get no better than that. It gets no better than that, bro. It's insane. 3570. I know, right? I know. It's, it's like you really are literally playing the computer. 
You're playing a computer. That's why, you know, we always say he's half man. The other half, look, we just don't know yet. We just don't know. We Maybe we'll find out one day. But he is definitely half of a human. Definitely half a human. I like this I like this position though. I like this position for black. This almost resembles some type of night dwarf. Yeah, some type of night dwarf. And shout out to the night dwarf fans out there. <laughs> Bro, who do you beat to get points at 3570? Guy is drunk. You know what's funny? Yeah, and this is something that you should do as well, guys. If you're if you, you know, if you care about your rating points, which you should at a certain point, especially when you, you're really working towards something, you know, you want to um you, you gotta make sure that you set your parameters to only play people at a certain level. And that's what his are. Sometimes he even waits. Like I see Nerdisky do this too. They'll just wait to come online. It's like a secret group chat. Only people three thousand and above get to. If you you get invited, you know, you can't apply to this. You get invited to the 3K and up group chat. And when somebody's online, y'all, they duke it out. Because I'm not going to play anybody 2,900. I'm going to lose points on a draw, right? I'm going to get two points on a win. Like, that's crazy, right? That's very, very funny. Very, very funny. But set your parameters, you know, a little bit lower. So you can only play people like 20, 25 points. And when you get higher rated, you know, mine is set to like, I can only play people 25 points lower rated to me. So I'm only going to play people like 26 25 26 15 you know anywhere 25 and below I'm 25 and up so i can play people and i'm not losing rating points you know or uh, it's just good it's better to do it that way and that's what uh everyone should do if you're trying to play people stronger people stronger so Ferruja, who's second best, is 170 points. Yeah, you can check, too. You can actually just go to chess.com and to check. You can check right there. It'll show you uh, the top players online right now. This looks like a draw, right? It looks like a draw. It looks are very deceiving in chess, especially when you got Hikaru playing. This is not going to be a draw, and I say that because he's going to try to flag. He's going to try to milk the position. He's going to do everything possible. He might do something as strange as this right here. Watch this, like the box method. We just made that up on the fly. Don't even know what that is, but... Hikaru is very capable of doing something like this just to gain some time and just to uh, to do whatever. Because he's like, I don't want to draw. I never went to art school. I don't like drawing anything. Bishop f4. Check. No. Oh, I could take on f2. Was that pawn hanging? Hold on. Let's go back. Was that pawn hanging? Or am I am I just messed up here? Oh, he did have rook takes c7. But I'm, then I'm queening, though. I mean, he probably could have took it. But he's just trying to flag him, which is a specialty of Hikaru here. A flag monster. Uh, G3, that's a beautiful move, but he gets two pawns for it, doesn't he? Oh, he doesn't. Nice move. Boy, find a good move. Look for a better one. When you find a good move, look for a better one. Put that on repeat, clip that, whatever, because you could have just taken the knight, but he found a better one and then take with the knight, so now the pawn's still defended anyway because bishop takes will be undefending the pawn. Beautiful, beautiful play here. Hikaru teaches us another lesson here. I mean, it's unreal. It's unreal. You're getting free lessons here today. Free lessons. No. Yeah. Why? Why? Oh, man. That's insane. That's insane. Renato's playing, too. Shout out to Renato. Man. I mean, you just can't get away from watching Hikaru. Like, you know, there's other streamers, right? But just, I mean, it's he's playing right now. He's playing right now. Knight B7. Bishop H6. What was this opening? Ooh, King's Indian. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm a KID for life player. King's Indian. I love King's Indian. And the modern defense, again, we talk about flexibility. The modern can definitely transpose many times into a Dragon Sicilian or uh, many other openings with the Bishop on G7. But my favorite, one of my favorites, of course, against D4 is the Bishop G7 with the King's Indian. And then we're in a Finchetto variation. Oh, this is the variation I play too. I'm getting a free lesson here. Ooh, 95. This is Zag the, the Zagreb or Zagreb. I don't know how do you say it. Z-A-G-R-E-B. That's the name of this variation. Then you play c5. That's correct. Take I usually take with the knight. That's what the books say. But pawn takes. Let's see what he does. Queen c7. Bishop d7. Knight to b7. Bring the knight back around town. e5. Take, take. Rook e8. Rook d8. And snap, snap. Bishop f5. a5. Yeah, so just honestly just maneuvering. It's just boring. And this is why you take with the knight usually uh, over the pawn because this knight just chilling. And Hikaru is going to figure this out, but th look how gross this knight is. If you weren't Hikaru, this would be a bad position for you because this knight's gross. 
Absolutely gross. Can't go to C5, only defending. Look at him. Play King G7, King G8, right? This is not fun. Not a fun position. And usually you would take with the knight in that Zagreb variation or Zagreb. I don't know how to even say it, but you know what I mean. Zagreb variation where knight takes C6 is uh, usually that line in there. But that's crazy, you know. That's crazy there, so. Uh, can't you drop a knowledge bomb. Thanks, Underlords. Appreciate it. Grab the knight. Grab the knight. Stop. Stop it. Grab the knight. What happened here? Rook a6. He went back. King f8. If you want to get the king, centralize the king here as pieces will start exchanging. Now f3. It's nice to provoke that move because the bishop is now shut off. Then he plays f4. wonder if we should capture. If we capture, capture. No, maybe not. Maybe just f6. But f6 is scary. Shout out to fine gold. Don't play f6, right? Don't play f it's, it's certain times. There's a rule to it. You have to play f6. You not have to. But you push the f pawn later on when you should. There's times to do it. Can't be best teacher. Thanks. Big money. Big money. Bigums. What's up, bro? Kings India. Still got to finish your video. Yeah, man. I got a YouTube videos on. I got some like maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 videos. Maybe a little more um, on Kings India defense for YouTube. So check that out. Can't so high energy. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. Carl was probably like, I know you should take with the knight, but this looks good too. I mean, yeah, he could do whatever. You know, he played an H3 out the opening, right? You know, he's, uh, I know I could play E4, but I'm going to play H3 against a 2900. Like, yeah, he can do whatever he wants, right? You know, a pawn takes pawn um, was, was it does, it, it, you know, you, you can do whatever you want, but there are consequences to it. And in this case, he doesn't have an aggressive position. He's on the defense here and we're shuffling and his knight is still gross, right? That was the answer. So if we go back and look at this from a, you know, um, bird's eye view in a way, knight takes c6 was a better move overall than pawn takes c6 as we looked at in the game. So now you got, now he has a square. Now I can breathe slightly slightly here but still there's a you know white's trying to press for more white is definitely trying to press for more we've now created a pass pawn not not really potential for queenie because we do can we can easily stop this pass pawn even the king can help out you know he's going to push it but yeah rook d8 king f6 king g7 if it gets close and rook a you know we're, we're stopping that pawn there it is king f6 right he's going back but he's not going to take a draw again man he probably don't own any pencils or pens in his house he doesn't draw anything so there's not going to be a draw. We will not see King F6 here. D5, there it is. I told you. He's going to sacrifice a pawn. <laughs> I'd rather sacrifice a pawn than take a draw. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Hikaru would just don't play, bro. Hikaru, I would rather sack a piece and know it's wrong than take a draw. Like, that's just Hikaru, bro. That is Hikaru. Zagreb is a city in Croatia. Oh, it's pronounced Zagreb. Thank you for that, Phoenix. Thank you for that. That's actually history I didn't know. Because I do play the Zagreb variation, actually. Yeah, he don't have none in his house. No highlighters, nothing. Despises it. Despises it. What was that garbage? What was this? That was garbage and a half, right? But it's equal, though. It's equal somehow. But that seemed like garbage and a half. Rook here? Yeah, and we, we just take everything. Okay, so I see that. H4 was kind of good. That's kind of good. Um, Can we check? And flex real hard. Is that a draw? Maybe not. Maybe not. I was thinking check takes and then king takes and then use fox in the chicken coop. That's from uh, Jeremy Seelman's in-game uh, manual. Fox in the chicken coop, you know, where you just, you leave this pawn and you go grab these with the king. That was the goal. Oh, this is super winning. At least it feels like it. Somehow they're saying it's a draw still and I don't see it. Oh, wait a second. We got a two extra. We got two over here. We got it. Oh, he hung mates. Oh my goodness. Breathe, knock everything off the table in front of you, stand up, and walk away. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he just hung mate. He plays so good, too. He plays so good. But he didn't have, he only has two seconds left, and there is no um, no increment. So he's going to flag anyway. He's probably going to flag anyway. Yeah, but what did we say? You know, I'm not drawing this. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not drawing this. That's Hikaru's host, like, mindset. I don't care. I don't draw anything. You don't ever get a draw against me. You know, that's just, that's just how it is. It kind of sucks playing somebody like that. Even if they lose it, they're still going to try to draw. <laughs> like that's, but you can learn from that. You can learn from that. And you should learn from that. You should adopt that style of play. Adopt that style of play. Just be aggressive and annoying and never give up. <laughs> What elo would you say I have, to have for the C, for my C3 Sicilian course? You can use it for any any elo. Any elo. I get messages all the time from wins from people under a thousand, over a thousand, getting wins in the C3 Sicil for the kill, uh, which is the C3 Sicilian. Rook takes a five. 
we don't need to take this but then again b4 is annoying at the right moment so queen f6 i like ew that's strong jeez man this is strong vukar in some trouble and vukar is very strong but vukar in some trouble right now this is scary a5 queen takes f2 to follow Pushed the pawn. He had to create something, he says. The question is, how do we take? Because we're definitely going to take this. Pawn takes maybe knight e4 just to get something going. Got to probably back the queen up because she's so aggressive. But now a5 comes with more of a tempo because we can't go bishop f4 at all. Here's queen e7. Bishop takes a6. This is a great position for black. Just immediately crushing on the king side. But if this, if this falls through and this doesn't work, our king is still in the center of the board. Not too scary, though. Not too scary. The pawns and the pieces actually defend the king quite well. Interesting enough. Quite well. Is the form is this format speed chess? Yes. Anything five and below is speed chess. If you shout me out, then I'll give you a tier five sub. They got a tier five sub? That's new. I think you meant tier three. Unless they do got a tier five. Shout out to you, Iron Champ 87. What's up, bro? How many games do they all play? Uh, as many as you can get in two hours. Can't you stream after this? I'm trying to sub to your channel. Yeah, bro. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, we'll be we'll be streaming later though. Um later, probably like two hours, maybe something like that. Oops, this is my uh, my channel. Oop, something happened. Hold on, I see the the thing go crazy. Oh man, look at the look at the tactics. Let's go back here. Puzzle Rush 101, right? When you're in Puzzle Rush, you look for the checks and captures. This pops up on your Puzzle Rush screen. What do you do? Check, flex real hard, and everything must go. Appreciate you. Yeah, there we go. GG. Start a new one. Man, he kind of crushed Vukar that game. I mean, Vukar is dumb strong, but dang, he got crushed that game. Would you? Uh, it could be whatever, ELO, whatever, whatever, ELO, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, numbers is what I say, numbers. So let's check the uh, the standings. Hikaru just, you know, like barged his way through. Now he's up. Literally barged his way through, second place here. He's going to definitely take first place with 36 minutes left here, guys. There's no way somebody's going to be catching up to that. We do see Renato down here, but, man, I'm very surprised. I'm not, shout out to Min Lee, the strongest international master on the planet. I mean, you know, I am, we're going to call I am, quotation marks. Like, he's not an I am, obviously. 2893, you know, he didn't reach 3,000 before in Bullet. I think Blitz too, but extremely strong, guys. Come on now. But uh, I guess on paper, strongest international master on the planet will be Wonderful Time, which is Min Lee right here playing against Eric Hansen. Two of them who are both streaming, most likely. Both streaming. Yeah, he already has one GM norm too, by the way. Flex real hard. Yeah, you see the new emote we got there, fan? Yeah, we just made that. Shout out to Anik for the emotes. So, uh, Knight to G3. Push Bishop F6, hitting the Rook. Make some threats here. Wonderful time. Play some very good chess. Yo, thanks. Sure, next. I appreciate you. Welcome to the stream. Let's go. Let's go. Probably snap and go to the file with a smile. B6. I mean, yeah, but why not? Rook takes. Release some of the tension here that we have. You got to move this bishop. I'm not letting you take this. I want the bishop here is one of my advantages. Maybe bishop B2. Strange move, but it gets it out of the way. Bishop D4 being the same intention. I just don't like blocking this. Bishop B2 is strange, but it is a possibility. It is a possibility. He does. He actually likes being called the strongest. Oh, wait. What happened? What happened? Hold on. The engine lost its mind here. Okay, let's see. Before we turn on the engine, why is this just not a move? What happened? Is it Rook? Oh, it's just Rook. He dropped a piece. He dropped a piece. Strongest I am in the world. And then Hansen missed it. Why did you just take Rook takes E5 and then Rook's hanging? Oh, my goodness, dog. That was crazy. The game is over. Like... The game was over there. He just missed it. I'm sure Min Lee was saying, you know, usually it's always hardest too, right? It's always extremely hard when you, um, like when you, when you see it right after you move, when you see it right after you move, you know, um, can you check my game and I ain't, where are you at? Where are you at? We got to find you. We got to find you. Yeah. There's a 1200 players in here. So we will have to, uh, it's going to be difficult to kind of find you. Yeah. On a side note, I recently crossed 1400 and rapid. Yikes. That's what's up. And yikes in a good way. Very nice job. 1400 rapid. That's a good one. Now set more chess goals and keep going. I think I'm dead last. <laughs> You're dead last. No, probably not. There may be somebody doing a little worse. I'm in the 50s. You're in the 50s. 50, 50. I don't see Nyang in the 50s, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 60. Yeah, I don't see it. 
Not there, buddy. Let's see if I can find it. Queen. Hmm. Can I queen? Cannot queen. Wait, wait, wait. Bishop d5. There's a check. I get out the way. F3. I'm loving black's position here. But you are playing Eric Hansen. Hansen is very crafty. Very, very crafty. I've seen him do some very crafty things here before. We've all seen him do some crafty things. I don't think that's crafty at all, though. What does that even do? You got to try to make a threat every move, guys. Try. If you can't, you can't. But try to make one. Or at least, you know, maybe queen, and then queen d4 would be losing. Maybe just queen d5, centralize the queen. Queen here doesn't do much. Maybe attacking the pawn? Is that what he's doing? He probably has something better, like queen e2 threatening to push. That would have been a much better, stronger move. Takes, queen here. Let's go back. He had to stay on this file. That was his, that was like his thing. A4, well now, now we take this one, take this one. And he should be holding. And Hansen's holding, especially after queen takes, queen takes. Now we're holding, because all we got to do is sit here and chill. You're not pushing this. And we can't make this work. Surprisingly enough, being down two pawns here, he could be able to hold this. He should be able to hold. Defends H4. You're... You changed 2012. Oh, well, we actually can't check out your game while you're while you, uh, here in the stream. Just so you know that, too. Because that would be... Uh, we can't say nothing. We can't give you any advice. That would be uh, against the rules. Against the rules there. It's it's like Hikaru levels up whenever he loses a second on the clock. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Or if he think he about to draw, you know, you just see something spectacular. If you think you're if you think you're about to draw Hikaru, like you just need to look out for something wild. Meaning like he's gonna take some risk so he doesn't take a draw. He's gonna take some risk. H three. Oh, it's 15 seconds for both these for both these guys here. 15 seconds. Bishop takes h3 would have been blundered to queen h4 check. Yeah, man, look at Hansen working. Working. Okay, I see you. And then Min Lee trying to do whatever he possibly can here to make this thing work. No checks, though. Look at the, how the queen covers all the checks. What a game, Hansen. What a game. That pre-move game, strong, boy. That pre-move game, dumb strong. Look at that. Oh my goodness, he about to flag, he about to flag, he about to flag. Point four, point four. All he got to do is take the pawn. Oh, he flagged. Oh my goodness. He flagged. Min Lee. Min Lee knocks him down. Down goes Fraser. That was crazy. Dang, bro. He was not supposed to win this one. D was not supposed to win, obviously. But he lost. Wow, Hansen is pissed. That's one of those break the mouse, throw the chair like you saw on YouTube, right? Anybody seen that? that uh, it's an old video. Old video of Hansen raging and throwing the chair. He was livid. He was livid, bro. And not this is this is one of those times. This is one of those times. He's he's been he's been a lot calmer. He's been a lot calmer, you know, in the past few years, honestly. He's been a lot calmer. But we have seen some rage where he has thrown the whole chair across the room on stream. On stream. Check them out. They should be streaming right now, too. That was intense, yeah. That was intense. That's why he got quiet for a minute. Like, we don't know what's about to happen. We don't know what's about to happen. All right, let's back to Hikaru, the man, the myth, the legend. Bishop takes, takes. Okay, ooh, rook, at, rook f2? Oh, queen h6. Okay, for some reason, we thought pawns were over here. We were just looking down the board, but not looking the other way. So that's why rook f6 was played to defend against mate. Rook f2 would have been the move if... That was, uh, you know, if Rook F6 now, if, if this pawn was defended, if we had an extra pawn here, Rook F2 would be great. So now we dub on the bub. Very nice here. Rook F2 still trying to get that to work. We also have potential of doing something like Queen H4, Queen takes H3 due to the pin here. Exploiting the pin. Hikaru was up so much time. He just cruising. Literally, I'm just chilling. I would just be chilling, talking to the chat. What's up, guys? How you feeling? What you have for breakfast today? Right. Because you have so much time here. You can almost blunder and be fine. Almost. Almost. Don't do it. You know, don't try this at home. Don't block with your face. But at the same time, you still can like Rick F1. Dang, that works because he's covering the check. That's why. Yikes. What a move. What a move here, guys. The intention is if you take it, we take and then takes and then queen. Easy. Two queens on the board. You do have one check. Oh, you actually can't check. Yeah, obvious. It's pinned. And there's no check now here. Great move. And McDonald's, right? Yeah, McDonald's. 
Megs and Toes, okay. All right, y'all. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, okay, let's go to the standings. How is he beating out Hikaru? I mean, he's playing great chess. Oh, look at his bullet rating. Yeah, he don't play that much blitz, obviously. His bullet, 25-26. So, I mean, he's super strong, obviously, right? 20, 26, and 14. Yeah, no, he's nasty. 32, 58 here for Hikaru. And, again, he's in second place, guys. Playing Renato. This is a game you don't want to miss. Renato is extremely strong as well. International master out of Peru. 29, 37 is his rating here. Very strong chess from the big fellas here. So, ooh, is the queen trapped? It's almost trapped. Almost. Bishop e2, and what do you do? Like, how do you even get your queen out of here? f4 is very scary. I don't like it. Jeez. Yikes. And how is this equal? Like, the engine is so confusing sometimes, right? You feel, the engine is so, like, yeah, it's equal, bro. Yeah, it's equal. Bro, my, I'm losing my queen. Like, what do you mean it's equal? Where? Equal what? Equal what? Bishop f1. Okay. Knight f4. That was a strong move. Aggressive. Saying that if you take, I'm going to take this way. So if bishop e2, they're probably going to repeat move. So he tries bishop g2 instead. He goes back. Knight f4 once again. We could go bishop f1. And if we do it again, it will be a um a repetition yeah so now wow draw by repetition wow i can't believe it i don't think hikaru even knew he might not even know somehow he might not have known that he had a third because like he doesn't just take draws like this this is not hikaru hikaru does not take a draw in this kind of position maybe he got to use the bathroom maybe something happened maybe he didn't know that he was you know that was the third move maybe he didn't know you know, I don't know, but that was uh that was strange. He lost twenty three elo. Oh my goodness, that hurts. No, he did. He could he lost twenty three on this game. No, that's not possible. He couldn't have lost twenty three on this one game. Maybe twenty three elo total. If you're talking about the whole tournament, he might have lost twenty three elo. Yeah, he couldn't lose twenty three on a draw. It says six. Yeah, yeah. So he probably lost twenty three total. Is what you were saying probably. 23 total elo today 26 minutes left in today's tournament whoa this looks like some type of king's indian oh, of course it is because he's playing modern he plays modern all the time so let's see how it started so we got yep the tiger modern here very nice and it looks like some type of sameish and i like i love this knight h5 move um threatening knight f4 knight g3 queen check like all of this the dark squares are very very weak so yep there it is knight g3 plays f5 this is beautiful this is beautiful this is beautiful. I wasn't going to click to it until I seen Candy. Yeah, what's up, fall off? What's going on, bro? He lost 23 one last game. Nice. Yikes. No chat spam is nice. Welcome in. Maybe you want to save time with only 26 minutes left. I mean, maybe. Yeah, he could. He could just do that, too. Just to straight out win it. But at the same time, like, he could have played that whole game out. Hopefully, he'll bounce back. Yeah, he already has bounced back. Check him out in the standings right now. He's in first place now. He's jumped up in the first place. He jumped it. He was on fire, and then that draw made him, um, and he lost his streak, but he's going to get it right back, I'm assuming. Great move here if bishop takes the intention being queen e4 check, followed by queen takes e3. Queen to e6. Defending. Maybe bring a rook to the file with a smile. This bishop is extremely scary, though. So at the right moment, you got to snap that boy off. If he keeps this and he's able to coordinate the pieces correctly, this is going to be a diagonal that you will not survive. Uh, how do you see the bar on the side while playing? That will not be an option, actually. You can't see it while you're playing. Because <laughs> then, if, you know, if you're winning, the bar is going to tell you. And then you're like, oh, maybe I should do this move. So the bar is not allowed while you're playing, bro. How much time is left? 24 minutes. Can't you from the East Coast? I'm from Midwest. Midwest, Michigan. Rook, rook check. King takes E3. Probably check again. Take on, uh, yeah, take on E2, then take on D5. Really not much else to do there. Yeah, Rick takes d5. And this one, man, I mean, ooh, this guy's 2298. Oh, yeah, he not drawing this. This going to be one of those. He's going to take all the risk in the world. Maybe sacking his rook for three pawns. You know, man, it depends on this position, how it looks. But Hikaru is not going to take a draw here. It's far from it. Far from it. So we're going to see what happens. But, yeah, you have to shout out, you know, uh, Mira Mangolasi for playing such a great game here. Playing such a great game. How do you know so much about chess? I've been playing 21 years, man. 21 years. This is my 21st year. 29. Um, yeah. I'll be 29 this year. Okay. King d6. 
King e7, King f6. I mean, yeah, you just got to do whatever you can. Try to push. But don't push too hard. You know, I'm not sure if, if this has been you or anyone in the channel. You know, there was, uh, you try to push because you want to try to win. You know, you want to try to win, but you end up losing. That really hurts. Really hurts when you try to win and you're like, oh, I'm going to try to push because I'm trying to be like Hikaru. You know, I'm trying to just win. Even though this is a draw, I'm trying to push and then you lose the game. And you're sitting there like, man, I suck. And I hate this game. You know, how many people have done that? Right. And here it is. Yeah. He relied strictly on him saying, oh, uh, his end game. You know, you got to study your end game, guys. You got to study your end game. Man, Saj. Yeah. Me. Yeah. That's you, Tinny. That's you. Yeah. You ain't the only one. You ain't the only one. I'd probably back the rook up. You could. Just back the rook up to civilization. Come around the back way. See if the back door is open. And he actually resigned there. But he played extremely good. You got to give him some props there. I mean, what is his ratings? Yeah, 2,300. Like, Hikaru was supposed to just crush him, but he didn't. And that was really, really good. And Which just shows he was playing good that time. He was playing really good. Um, chicken Nugget. Also me. Mark Cervelli. Like, me too, y'all. Me too. First place is Hikaru. Then we see Renato down here. Not a lot of red, though. Very surprising tournament. Very surprising. As you see, there's going to be more red down here and stuff. But not a lot. Sloth with the Twitch Prime over here. What's up, bro? Thanks for the Prime. Over here at the channel. I've uh, been taking chess serious. Now I'm plateauing. What's some good advice to continue in progress? Tactics win games. Tactics for life. Tactics for breakfast, lunch, dinner, 80% tactics, 20% everything else, up until you like 2200. Then you can study more of everything else, but uh, big emphasis on tactics. You need to study other things as well, but big emphasis on your tactical abilities. 90% of your games will be won or lost off of tactics, meaning you lose off of tactic or you win because you caught them with a combo. That's usually how it happens. Check your last 10, 15 games. Besides the blunders and hanging pieces, how many games were won or lost off of tactics? Well, you know what I mean? No matter how close the skill gap is, looks large on paper, but judging by the board, it's a lot closer, says Gragers. Hi, everyone. What's going on, Eno? What's going on, Eno? All right, so in this position here, what's going on? Hikaru has a standard position, pretty equal. Oh, but he's playing uh, Gata Kamsky here. Gata is extremely strong. I mean, he's a legend. You can Google him if you don't know about him, but a legend is Gata Kamsky. So let's see what happens here. Let's see how he faces Hikaru. He has the knights versus the bishop here. Look at his pawn structure, though. A very strong pawn structure here. And when you give someone like Gata this type of pawn structure, he's also, he, he's a fan. Not that you, you know, many people are big fans of the end game. A lot of people aren't. You know, for me, I love tactics. I like crushing people in 20 moves, you know, the towel kind of stuff. But actually, um, here, Gata, Gata is a big fan of the end game. He also likes to play the London system with white and go to an end game where he can beat you um, and just kind of slowly squeeze you. And that's actually, you know, for what he said. He likes end games. He's a big end game player here. So as we see, Black, I think uh, he's right in his element is where he wants to be in a way. He's in an end game and he's trying to press forward and make everything solid. So... You know, Will Smith kind of legend. Yeah, Will Smith is. Absolutely. You, yep, yep, yep. Um, actually, you know, you can check the chess.com jobs slash jobs. And uh, I think there is something for that. So good luck to you. London, says Mark Cervelli. Take, take. Take on G6. King E2. This might be another draw. This might be another draw here. And I say might. Like, you see, he just put his king on D1. There is no reason for your king to be all the way on D1. Okay, maybe he's going this way. But there's no progress on that side either. There's literally no progress. Literally no progress over there. But black, on the other hand, I mean, like this is I told you, God, God is in his element right now. He is playing. He's like he has all the moves here. White is very, very uh, cramped. Maybe King F3. Why not just King F3? I guess he didn't want to do that. I guess he didn't want to do that at all, man. You know? Yeah, that's right there. Thanks so much. Chess win. Appreciate it. And not sure, sure next, not sure. So king e6, king f2. If we go king f1, king g2, yeah, it's still a draw. And you can't press. You shouldn't press for more. You'd be in trouble, especially playing against Gata. Gata, uh, if you if you control the pawn breaks, you control the game. And these are pawn breaks. So I can break at any moment with c4, and I can break at f5. But in a way, white actually kind of have them on lock. 
and hitting the pawns with the knights here. Oh, snap. Knight g5. He's losing a pawn. He got him. He caught him. He caught him, bro. He caught him slipping. He caught him slipping. Look at these knights. Knight, knight. Wow. That might be a wrap there. That's all you need. That's all it takes is an extra pawn. That's all it takes, bro. What's up, bro? I just bought a Noble Pro jersey. We got to represent. Let's go, Rife. Let's go. We on time. That's right, bro. Thanks for getting a jersey over there, man. I'm going to be representing when I'm in Charlotte. I'm going to Charlotte on the 17th, playing in the tournament. So I'll be rocking the gear when we down there. Yeah. <laughs> really like it. Somebody offered a draw. Who was that? Hikaru offered a draw? Hikaru was like, yeah, you know what? Let's just draw this up, my guy. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of uh, nice paintings and drawings. We're going to do a draw here. And he pulls that out when he can. <laughs> he took a draw there because this was not fun. He was not on the good end of the draw. What's up, Rob? Good to see you, bro. I know. Another day, another Kamsky in-game. Yeah, he's an in-game machine, a magician. I mean, just everything. He loves the in-game. And if you love the in-game, you're going to be better in all areas. That's one dude that... that, that, that I mean, yeah, you see, you know, he's very strong, and we all know Gata Kamsky by name. Gata is that guy. You know, at one point, he was one of the strongest players in the world. So, they're legendary, and, of course, his end game is immaculate in a way. Would the time gap have made a difference? Yeah, absolutely. If he was lower on time, Hikaru would have pushed that boy. He would have, he would have like, just moved and moved and, like, would have drained the clock. Gata actually, surprisingly, he wasn't in time trouble. But Gata does get in time trouble, actually. Well, he played the French here. Let's see this French. It was a win hour. I like I actually play this. I got this from Roman DG Hasvili, actually. I took some lessons with him back in the day. But I, I I follow a lot of his. One of my favorite grandmasters is Roman DG Hasvili. Last name is like 26 letters, the whole alphabet. But in a way, it's a big last name, to say the least. Bishop B2 is what he recommends here. So And then he plays knight B5. This is correct. At C3, knight D6, F4. This is all theory. Takes, takes, takes. That's correct. Takes, yep. At G3. Now, this other stuff I don't like, actually. Where now, you know, black has that kind of center lock I don't like. But I like white's position. Looking pretty good. I need a Casmo. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Call him A to the Z. You might as well. Or Roman Gingy. We call him Gingy for short. You know, because the rest, you know, you'll be looking at that like, what? I'm sorry. Those letters don't go together. Like, next to each other, they don't make sense. I don't know how you got this. I apologize. But in English language... These letters don't make a word going together. So, but he's a, he's a legend, by the way. A theoretician, extremely strong. Extremely strong. So, definitely check him out. Can I just take and bring the king into the center? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. King walk. King walk. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Start a new one, big fella. Start a new one. Make it easy for all of us. King here. King takes B7. Nothing else to do here. I mean, well, he's going to look for a better move. Hikaru always looks for a better move. Always. You know, Edward, Edward Lasker said that. Did he offer a draw? Disrespectful. Oh, my goodness. He just offered him a draw. Nick was like, you know, hey, bro, Hikaru, you want to draw? Man. But Hikaru would just be so angry. I would be like, are you serious, bro? What? Draw what? Draw what, my guy? What you talking about? Not this game. Learn Scotch Gambit from him. YouTube video. Thanks, man. Thanks, Fedlix. Appreciate it. I hope the Scotch Gambit is working for you. Desperate times, desperate masters. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Right? Desperate times, desperate masters. Oh, my goodness. This is a wrap. A4, we king takes if he moves the bishop off. And if not, we play king b6 and play b5. We're in the same, same idea. We're trying to push. Why is it equal, though? What happened there? Something happened. Of course, we're not playing the engine. But something happened. James, is Scotch your go-to opening? Um, Scotch Gambit. It used to be, of course. Um, I I play some different stuff now. I'm playing like more at, um more older Gambit style stuff. It looks like a Joko piano, but we play it early D4 on like move four, sacrificing the pawn, playing Bishop G5 and F4, and going for a king side attack. It's uh it's not played as much, but Dubov is a fan of it. Dubov is one of my favorite GMs these days because it's a swashbuckling chess. That's the type of chess I like. My favorite player is Tao. So that's um it's exactly the kind of chess I like to play. And Dubov is very, very fearless. Very fearless. He shows you all kind of stuff. I was like, oh, that's what he playing? That's what I'm playing. So <laughs> I'm playing the same thing. Got to show Roman some love. He represented my country. Georgia. Yeah, Roman DG Hashvili. Roman DG Hashvili. 
is so strong. Dubov is a wild man, absolutely. So how do we finish this in-game? Uh, bishop can't really move. King e3, I guess we can walk the king over here. Why not? Bishop's trapped. You got to play h5. That's the only move. But then I can still play king g3, trade, and that's a wrap. Play king g5, king g6, and we run in the dogs. Very simple. Very simple. He could have played king g3. Is it true Dubon works with Magnus? He was the second for him, yes. Swashbuckins, where is that? For real. For reals. For reals. Very Dubovious du 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 player he is. That's funny. Maka just brutal in this in game. Yeah, that's, that's what he does. Jinji, Jinji Hasvili, correct? Yeah, yeah, it's Jinji Hasvili. Yeah, but I like to say Jinji. Uh, whatever he says, Jinji, Jinji, same thing. Still like twenty six last night letters in the in the alphabet. It's like so hard. <laughs> one, two, three. How many red we got up here? One, two, three, four, four. Title players up here, and twelve minutes to go. I mean, what a showing from everyone. What a showing. All right, so who's at the top? Hikaru and Jospom. Hikaru was playing Zinzo. Zinzo had a great tournament. And I'm saying great tournament because he beat some strong GMs this tournament. What time are you streaming tonight? Probably, uh, I mean, an hour or two after this, after um, after Arena Kings. Because I'm going uh, to study a little bit and then I'll handle some other business. I actually got 32, so it makes it less than that. Wow. Wow. Takes, takes. B4. What a move. B4. I have never seen that. B4 takes, and he was going to play queen d4, I'm assuming. And maybe queen takes b4. You really don't even have to take it because it is double. But b4 was was nice. That was a very, very advanced move. b4, knight to d2, developing, and also hitting this annoying knight. Of course, when they cross the line, they got to go. So any knight that is across in your territory needs to be eliminated. And that is what he did there. He played knight to d2 because he crossed over into white's half of the board. So we got rid of it immediately. Knight to d2. Now the rooks are connected here. Black still has to finish their development, which is a problem. F6, of course, Feingold is angry at this move. And it is an ugly looking move here. But it does block any checks on the file or the diagonal here. Hey, Jedi, what's up, Nitraj? Kirby, 7 Bill. What's up, my guy? In the fog, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Yo, yo. We in here. That's right, Chess. Chess win. We in here. Absolutely. Snap, snap. H5. G5, F4. Wait, 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 wait. G5, H6, F4. Because if we go G5, F4, there's H6, which is annoying. So we play H6 first, put the king out here in the middle of the street. Then we play F4. But, um, yeah, he didn't play it. So F4 is still going to be a move we make. E5 and we live? Oh, yeah, E5 and we live all day, baby. All right, queen E2, that's a nice move. Rookie A, E6. Push that boy past pawns. Must be pushed. Push it all in his face here. E6. Pawn takes g6. There's just so many weaknesses around the king here. And what is the concept? Principle of two weaknesses. Meaning that if you have two weaknesses, meaning the f6, the more weaknesses you create, the better. And the, the more weaknesses that you have, it's harder for your opponent to defend all of them. And this being weak, the king being weak, e6, double I mean, pass pawns, this is a recipe for disaster. In fact, as a human standpoint, this evaluation should be higher. But the engine sees all. The engine knows all. Here, though, you know, as a human, this is crushing, crushing. You getting destroyed as a human here. You're like, I don't hate this position. Can't wait for this to be over. Hi, Jedi. What's up, James D? Welcome to the stream, bro. F6, kill my family. So, so, yeah, this is not, as a human, I would cry. Yeah, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. And it, that's totally fine. You playing Hikaru, we down a piece now. My king in the middle of the street. What am I doing with my life, right? It just feels... It hurts. It definitely hurts, but you learn. And, and the thing is, what do you learn from it, right? You are you, you lose to Ikaru. You know, it happens a lot. But, you know, what did you learn from it? And if you can learn from it, that's a good thing. You 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 learn. You, you want to learn, right? You want to learn from every loss. Queen d3, threatening rook d7. Uh, check. Uh-oh. Flex real hard. King g8, knight, takes, knight h6. Start a new one. King at, oh, that's a wrap. Knight h6, beautiful mate here, guys. Let's get this off the screen. This is a family channel. There's kids watching this. Knight h6 is mate, and we great. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hikaru with his first place steal. Steal first place for Hikaru. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go to the next one. Hikaru playing Jospom. This is a big boy game right here. This is a big boy game. Make sure you check this out. Make sure you're watching everything. Every move. Every move. Don't take your eyes off the screen. Hi, Kanji. What's up, bonus bishop? You're calling dirty like the stuff, yeah. 
Hi chat, bonus bishop, what's up, what's up? I'm learning to read, that's nice, that's nice. I'm bad at chess, but learning a lot, thanks, no problem. Oh dog, oh dog, hey, it's Chef Canty, what's up? Odd, normal, odd, not normal. You do lessons, Canty? I do, do we? You just go to my channel and look under the about tab. You can see um, you can see the, the information for lessons. Knight b6, knight c4, you want to put the knight in front of the pawn, usually what they say here. The, the square in front of the pawn is the most important. Knights work best behind the pawns, but in enemy pawns, it's good to have a knight in front of them. Like this one blockading it if b3 it makes a weakness it also is now able to reroute as you see here knight d6 threatening this maybe we kick him with e5 at the right moment and play knight f5 that would be a strong move there it is e5 kicking the knight has to go somewhere and then knight f5 to follow or you could play e4 but then he just goes right back so probably knight f5 anyway knight f5 queen where maybe to the center yeah it's not enough so he plays f6 he was like it's just not enough so he just played f6 just because the move's there doesn't mean you have to make it. And that's what he just said there. Queen C4 trying to trade. Jospin's doing a great job. I mean, obviously, that's what he does. He's 29-18. I've seen him do some very, very bad things to GMs. I mean, I saw him beat. And I'm not going to say the name because it's just like I wouldn't want nobody to say my name if I saw this happen. But there was a GM that I saw Jospin play. And he was up. I mean, it was, it was like I couldn't believe it. He was up 18 games. 18 to 0. He didn't beat him a game. And I was like, I got I to gotta leave. I can't keep watching this. Like, I'm watching a live murder. Like, I'm watching it. So, it was, he was up 18 games on another GM. 18 in a row. Like, you just got to stop at one point. At one point, look, I'm done. Uh, that's enough beating. I need to go back to the drawing board. I need to study and, like, analyze every single game and come back stronger. He lost 18 in a row. It didn't win a game. And it was a strong GM. The guy was like 2,700. Maybe 28, but Jospin beat him every single game. Every single game, guys. Every single game. So here, who, who somebody offered a draw. He Carvo declined to draw. Of course he does. Of course. You know, I mean, now maybe not, of course. He took two, two draws today. He did take two today. But this one, he's like, no, nah, I'm not drawing this, bro. Draw what? What we draw? It? What are we doing here? Candy Legend. What's up, Mitch? What's going on, bro? What's going on? King G6. That's funny. You gotta be careful, man. It, it seems a little scary for your king, but you have to ask White, how do we actually exploit it? Yeah, it's scary, but what do you do? And White said, oh, okay, I don't have anything, I'm gonna back up. Now I'm dropping a pawn, but it's equal here. It's very equal. Even being up a pawn, just because you're up a pawn in an end game, doesn't mean you're actually supposed to just win the game. They always say all the rookie games are drawn, right? But that's what they say, but you're, you have to work for that. It's not just drawn because you get to the rookie game. You actually have to work it. You actually have to know what you're doing here. So this is why he's playing on. And uh, I would too. You absolutely want to play on and try to press for more as, as, as quickly as possible here. But Jospin is no joke. Don't play around and think that you just about to crush this man. It don't work. Mr. Biden from the music channel. Yeah, man, we'll be streaming it later tonight, chess guy. We'll be streaming later, bro. Okay, knight of six. So now it's down to two pawns. Two pawns to two pawns here. He's trying to work him. King g8, stepping out of the pin, doing fine here. Now we're putting him in the pin with decisive attacks like knight, knight here being very, very scary, followed by rook takes in some cases and bishop here if we're able to divert the king. Be very, very careful. Very, very careful. He's going to try his last little tricks here. I would too. Oh, okay. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. This is how you make a draw. If that's exactly what she was looking for here, which, of course, you know, I would because Hikaru is going to try to swindle you. So I'm like, man, just get these pieces off the board, Hikaru. You have to take everything from him. You literally have to take everything Hikaru has because if you don't, he's going to find something that you didn't see and it's going to annoy you. It happens all the time. Maybe knight g8, bring the king in, snap on h6. I think he could have did that. I think he was able to play knight g8, king g4, take on h6, and king takes g5 would be a draw. And someone offered a draw. Who was that? That was Hikaru. Declined to draw once again. He says, draw what, bro? Stop asking me that, you know? Stop asking me that. W draw what? No draw, bro. No draw. This is Now, this is a book draw, guys. Let's see what happens. It's supposed to be straight back opposition. Yeah, there it is. He took it all the way through. He took it all the way through. He took it all the way through. That's nice. He took it all the way through. And, of course, he's supposed to know what to do there. Book draw all the way through. Book draw. Three minutes left in this tournament, guys. Arena Kings week eight. And Arena Kings week eight. And Hikaru, well, there's a little bit of red, but all the red that we saw. I mean, look at, like, there's a GM down here in 25th place. Like, 
Man, what tough kind I mean, look at wait, where's uh hold on. You see him in 42nd place? Oh, you can't see that actually, but 42nd place for for um Gotakamski's in 42nd place. That's like insane. Very, very tough competition today. This looks like a Carol Khan, but again, it's another modern. He's trying to save you in his time. Like, take a little draw there. Plus six. I know, I know. And when you play Jimmy, I'm playing actually in a tournament um, coming uh, this month, actually. I'm, I'm going to Charlotte, playing in the Norm tournament there. So I'm studying up like crazy. All my regular study is times five now because I got to study up. I got to be ready. Uh, Bishop at four, knight d5, f5, a6. This is a very flexible opening, as we said before. Modern is very flexible. You can choose when you want to play f5. And actually, this pawn is kind of strange here. It actually usually is not here. So they have some type of weird one. You going for an IM norm? Absolutely, bro. Going to get those norms there. I'm about to go turn up. Nice, Canty. Thank you. Good luck there. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. And a lot of extensive study. Extensive. A nice C4. A5. A4. Yeah, I like A5 too. A5, A4, maybe A3. Maybe. Bishop goes where? Maybe Knight C4 now. Or Bishop D5. Bishop D5. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You always feel good when you get, yes, I got it right. He car rule. Yes. Queen takes D5. Dang. I wanted to take with the queen. You know. But I was hype. You know, you get it. Yes, I got it right. Hikaru was doing exact. I did the same move, Hikaru. I did the same move, bro. A3, rook take, pawn takes, rook takes C3. I'll be doing that. Yes. Yes, I got it right. Yes. It'd be so hype. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, bro. I'm pushing tight. I'm pushing real good. Maybe H5. So you need some love for the king because this is kind of annoying. And then if you play bishop f8, bishop d6 is definitely coming. So you got to play like H5, bro. H5 is definitely going to be the move. Let's see what he does. Maybe rook c8? He's thinking here. And it's always a problem when Hikaru starts to think. Uh, yeah, there you go. There you go, great. There you go. He went to the bathroom. <laughs> Hikaru was disrespectful, bro. Like, he just... Oh, I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick, y'all. I'll be back in five minutes. Hikaru, you don't have five minutes. I know. I'll be alright, though. I'll be alright. Hikaru, what are you doing? This is Jospum you're playing. This isn't nobody else. Like, this is Jospum. Just disrespectful, bro. Straight up disrespectful. Actually, he won't have time to finish this game. There's, there's, it's under a minute now. It's under a minute. The timer is under a minute for the tournament. So when this timer runs out, no matter what the position is, it, it, it's over. It's over. He just went to the bathroom. You know what? He probably just, I guess we just, well, he was kind of winning this though. So there's not a position he didn't, like he could have waited and could have played on. I think he should have waited, bro. I think he should have waited because this is going to get aborted. This game's going to lose. Like, it's going to be, I mean, it's not going to lose, but it's just, it's just going to be aborted. Like, it's going to be done. It's gonna, this game's not going to count at all. And he, he, I would have just played on. There's 20 seconds left, right? He car went to the bathroom. <laughs> he just went to the bathroom. Yo, I'll be right back, y'all. Look, look, you see what I'm saying? This is why he played Queen G6. Look at him playing the ridiculous moves now. Don't try to step at home, y'all. Don't do this, okay? Thinking that, you know, you're doing okay here. And this is insane, right? I do the same thing, though. I do the same thing in arena games like this because, like, there's no time left and it looks crazy and ridiculous and it's funny. So that's exactly what he did. You know, he did that. GG's. Yeah, GG's, everyone. That was fun. Let's check it out. We got Hikaru in the first place spot there. He went off. No losses. No losses. What if you get made it? Yeah, you will. Actually, it happened one time, two time curve, to be honest. Only once, but it did happen. And then we have a kind of towel in second place. Shout out to anyone under two thou wow. Under 2,000, under 1,600s. You in the chat. Shout out to you. Uh, second place. And in third place was GM uh, Unnamed is what he goes by here. Two Brazilians here, actually. Brazil and Brazil representing. Anybody Brazil in the chat representing real hard there. Renato coming right after in wonderful time. And everyone else, guys. This was super awesome. This is Arena Kings Week 8. I hope you guys enjoyed it today. Stick around. We are going to go raid someone. This is the end of today's stream in this tournament. So thanks for everyone watching today. Super awesome. You're never going to do this. And actually, I will be back tomorrow for Titled Tuesday. Title Tuesday is tomorrow. Make sure you're there. It's going to be the 12 Eastern time where it's 1 Eastern time. 1 p.m. Eastern time is when we start that one. So I'll be streaming tonight on my own channel. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, the link is in the chat. Thank you so much for that. Again, there it is one more time. Follow my channel as well, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And have a great night, everyone. We in here.